Hello, am I live? The the game that I get to play every time because I get paranoid that it's not going to work. Let's have a look. Oh, still waiting. Connecting, connecting. <laughs> ah, we're live. Hello, hello. We are back with Engage. Apologies that it's been a couple of weeks, but I've just been busy, sadly. But we're back. Good afternoon, Paterino. Hello, hello. So, we have the port chapter today. My goodness. It's a very, very scary one. Aren't we all busy, eh? Yeah. Sadly. Okay, so I think last time I haven't made many changes. It was a few weeks ago, so I might have forgotten what I actually did. Uh, Panette now has bond rank for Raph, so we have two parts of the Millennium Puzzle. So she can start doing the funny now. Once we get Roy, it'll be easier to do the funny. So that's very nice. Other than that, uh, Cedar has Canter. I can't remember if I had that last time or not, but I think that's better than him healing people. God Mary now has Lance Power free for even better overrides, which will be good. And other than that, I think that's about it, really. I mean, we did Raph Linden, but we did that at the end of the stream. God Mary? Yeah, absolutely. So, here we go. Um, I don't know whether to do the port right away or maybe do a paralogue first. We'll have a look at the recommended levels. Because I wouldn't mind doing a paralogue more than anything, just to get back in the game because it's been you know nearly a month since i last played so let's have a look so the recommended level for the port is advanced seven and by left where's by left nope 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 oh it's five so i think i think we'll do we'll do by left it'll be a good warm-up i haven't actually done the by left many times Will you be doing the cheese strat on the port map? What, staying on the boat? The thing with staying on the boat is it's not so bad, but then if you can't deal with the worms, if you can't deal with the worms, you're in a lot of trouble. I just saw the Subway Surfer and Family Guy loop at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's peak stream. This is how you got to stream in 2024. Hello, Saucy Boy. Hello. So, this chapter, I like I was just saying, I've only done this chapter once or twice. Normally, I just kind of skip it. From what I remember, they tend to go after these crystals, and that makes it not so bad, because they focus more on the crystals than on you. If you manage to save enough of the crystals, you get a reward, but I think it's kind of useless. You had my viewership before, but now you have my attention. Ah, well, there you go. <laughs> not okay, speed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, even when I was making it, I was like, is this a bit too much? Uh, but no, I don't think it was enough. So, the, the worst part of this chapter is Byleth. Byleth is so scary. Sword of the Creator, he starts with, and that will one-shot so many people. He's going to dance at some point as well. But he adds these guys with warp, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, warp. So he warps enemies at you. It's only a talisman and an elixir. Oh, I knew it was bad, but that's... Okay. We'll, we'll try and get it, of course. But, like, if it means taking big risks, we'll just avoid it. We're mostly here for XP more than anything. And look, now they've got Dimitri, Edelgard, and Claude, which is a kind of funny touch. But yeah, I mean, this map isn't too bad as far as I can remember. Low deployment, though. Lapis is so close to getting the chop, sadly, so she might be getting left behind. Tamara is kind of a funny... We do need to start leveling up Linden. It's Speedwing here, Fire Emblem, holy crap! <laughs> uh, the thing is, I make fun of like the Family Guy stuff, and I definitely click on things that are like Family Guy clips. I see a Family Guy clip and I go, oh, I remember that episode. Ah, uh, 
Hmm. I would like Hortense here because I think like freezing, silencing and stuff. Oh, Patrick, thank you very much. The channel member. Thank you. So, yeah, I want Hortense here, but I don't know who to drop. Had to click it. <laughs> the subway surfers compelled you. Remember the time? <laughs> Remember the time Speedwing failed his Iron Man on the port? Might be saying that soon. I just don't know who to drop. Uh, add a push. We need Marin for debuffing. I guess it has to be Rosado. As much as I would like to give Rosado a bit more XP, because yeah, you know, the more XP we give to Rosado, the better he will become. He's that kind of unit. The YouTube shorts brain rotted me. Yeah, yeah, it's bad. I mean, I actually have ADHD, so I am kind of the target market for those. Maybe. I mean, or maybe I'm a bit old. Hey, it's Speewing. Hello, hello. So yeah, I think I think this will be good. I'm very excited to get Roy because Roy is very good on Rosado. Uh, is there any changes we want to make? Um, I guess we may as well put Leaf and Erica on people. <clears throat> I think Erica gives magic for some reason, so we can do this. I'm honored. Erica, Erica, I'm always mixing the two up. I never say the right thing, really. Leaf, do we actually really even need Leaf on anyone? <laughs> Poor Leaf. It's not very good. Hmm. I don't think anyone even. I think like it's better having this bond ring than Leaf on Pandreo, honestly. I'm at a beach resort. Just got out of the pool due to your stream. Wow. <laughs> That's commitment. There's British tourists here. They already ordered beers. Yeah. I mean, that is the classic British tourists, and I'm one of them. They just go get obnoxiously drunk in other people's countries. Yeah, I'd rather just not. I think we're just going to not use Leaf. Or Leaf. Okay, so how we want to do this chapter is we just want to, like, blast these guys before they can get to the things. Or if they do get to the things, blast them afterwards. Gold Mary might be able to run down and pick off, yeah, like, one of these guys. Could be good. The side's a little weak, but not much we can do about that if we want to use uh, Hortensia. How'd you manage chapter 17, if you don't mind me asking? I'm about to take it on myself. Ah, uh, just take it slowly. Uh, I went up, then I went down, then I went across, dealt with the worm, then I went down, then I went left, across to, um, what's her name? Armonite Girl, and then up. The, the thing with chapter 17 is you have all the tools to succeed. You just need to not rush. Some people say that you can go onto to the, the island fight, up in the top right wide. corner and wait it out, Always which you can, but I don't personally like that much. Okay, we get the free houses music, which is really good, honestly. Best part of the paralogues is the music. So, I think what all we need to really do here is just... Come and face Kill them. Me. <laughs> Kill every last one of them, which is very free houses inspired. I'm just a little wary of their AI. Because the thing with their AI Let's is I'm pretty this. sure they do focus the crystals, but they might change focus for a kill. I kind of wish I had Pandreo down here and him up here now. I should have checked the ranges. You sent the pick? What? A pick of, what, British tourists getting boozy? I'm sure they love that. Have a little look. Oh. <laughs> wow, very nice. What's better, being on holiday and watching an engaged stream peak? I'm honored. So I think what I need to do here is just focus on one side at a time. So if this guy was to go for Kigetsu, he doesn't one-shot him, right? 36. And Pandreo will be on what? 21. He'd actually be fine. He's actually fine. Which is good. We might even be able to go down and nuke him with Pandreo. Pandreo is fast enough. Oh, you got told to be... Prove it. Prove it. Just lying about being at a resort. 
One less fall. Imagine if free houses had engaged gameplay and visual quality. Yeah, that that would be awesome. Like the thing, the, the thing with free houses is I like a lot of aspects of free houses, but the aspects of free houses I don't like are so kind of jarring that it really makes me struggle with it. I want to like free houses, but oh, he doesn't actually one round him, but that's fine. This means no meme, sadly. R.I.P. I wish I was a tanned woman. Free Houses is my favorite game I never want to play again. That's a really good way of putting it, actually. Yeah. How mysterious. Uh, Free Houses, I enjoyed it. Well, at least I enjoyed it the first time. Like, when I did Blue Lines, which is what I did first, I really enjoyed it. I had a fantastic time. Then when I started doing the other routes, the fatigue started to settle in a bit, you know? Doing white clouds again and again, seeing how similar it all is. I mean, I kind of wish I hadn't done Blue Lines first, because Blue Lines is very obviously the canonical route. I really hope this is actually okay. I did do this right. 36. 23, yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Second guessing myself. Right, this might be a Hort kill, potentially. It'd be very nice if it is. Three houses is fine, there are worse, but it falls in the problem of not being a finished vision. I think I said before on one of these streams, I really like Free Houses, but I don't like it as a Fire Emblem game. Okay. If that makes sense. Oh, Tensia. I'm just, I'm really banking on the AI playing nice of us here. I should probably get my head in the zone a little more. Blue Lions first is also what I did, and it ruined me too. The rest of the routes just felt way worse. Yeah, the thing is, I asked people, I asked on the channel, which one should I play I first? And everyone said, ooh, she can't fly over the crystals. Okay, she doesn't get doubled. Right away. Oh, I'm very excited to start playing with the new Raph Panette. Oh, it's going to be so good. Sadly, that doesn't put her in a uh, vantage range. So we can't really do this. Ah, uh, hmm. I mean... That puts him on 24. The thing is, if we can block Ivy afterwards, then it's not so bad. 28. Sadly, no. Sadly, no. Oh, for channel membership? You never donate to anyone. Yeah, I know. I've heard you say that. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. It's very kind of you. Maybe we'll With just look at this for now. <laughs> God, Mary. So who are these guys? Oh, no. We do not want sages. But... Can she do this and then moonwalk away with Kanta? You're feeling generous. Yeah, I've caught you while on holiday. Excellent. Take advantage of your good nature of being by the pool. So why is Meryn best girl? I really rate Meryn. If it wasn't for my mild possession with Panette, Meryn would probably be my favorite. Because like Meryn makes me laugh more than any of them. All her like cool stuff. I'll do my really best. cracks me up. Ah, I'm starting to get a bit paranoid now about this. These guys can't go up here, can he? No. Okay, so it's actually not. It's actually fine. It's actually fine. And they'll probably go for the uh, thingies anyway. So 16, 16, 32. So we can't let Panette get hit by both of them. So we might just have to let them do their thing here. Maybe we'll do this. It's bad that you can't fly over these. I'm going to keep that in mind. Vacation finally cures his sadness. <laughs> I think it's almost the time for me to actually touch and gauge. It's a good game, man. It's a good game. Like, I think so, anyway. It's not for everyone, but I, I certainly enjoy it. I think the best way to find out is just to play it yourself. I do wonder how many people just haven't. Okay, so they are going for the crystals. Excellent. 
This is what I vaguely remember about this chapter is they do just kind of go for the crystals. So you can just pick them off. But it's this the second half of this chapter that gets a bit funky because Byleth starts warping enemies at you. And Edelgard is very scary. Yeah, 71 physical attack. Oh. Right, let's see if we can't start getting these guys now. I've been biased, but honestly, I have to play it to actually have an opinion. Yeah, absolutely. I think engage, like... It's the gameplay is the main focus. And obviously, it's fun to watch people play it. But I think it's the most fun just to play it yourself and mess around with it yourself. Figure out your own builds, your own everything you want to do. Wow, we actually need three people to take one of these guys out. That's kind of spooky. It has a lot of bad faith arguments against it. Yeah, for sure. But then, you know, for some people, and th this is something that I never really considered until Engage, but quite a large chunk of the fan base really care about story. Like, really care about story. Like, it's the main thing for them. And I think that was a bit of a shock to me. Played a lot of Unicorn Overlord since release. Love to experiment with units and their squads. I really liked Unicorn Overlord, but then I started to go a bit south on it near the, like, second half of the game because it kind of becomes a bit samey. Once you've set up, like, really good squads and really good, um, what's it called? The AI, the AI thing for how your squads attack. I find that you don't really change them up that much, which felt like a bit of a shame. But uh, it's still a very good game, very enjoyable. Ooh, if Panette doesn't kill here and then he wants to attack her, that would be... Uh, Rack. Vantage range, which would be awesome. I mean, now she's in vantage, which is very good. I care about stories too, not the cringe stuff I watch. Just they read for two. Uh, wrote for CMUs, but actual FE. Yeah, me too. I, I obviously look when I say like, oh, I only, I only like gameplay. That's not true at all. I would love a Fire Emblem game with really, really good story. It's just more the case that if, the, if there isn't really good story doesn't bother me much. I'm happy with just solid gameplay. I ju I'm so scared that their AI is going to change to be icier kill, so now I'm going to go for you, so I'm not going to do that necessarily. However, I would like to keep, keep feeding Gold Mary, because the more we feed Gold Mary, the funnier she'll be. Did you get to the beast country or angel country? They kind of require more unit squad changes. Uh, yeah, I got to the angel bit. I still haven't finished it. I still haven't completely finished it. I kind of put it down and was like, okay, I'll come back to this soon. And then I, every time I feel like playing something, I just don't. I mean, recently I've been playing Fates again and I've been playing Birthright, which <laughs> I never play Birthright ever. Like whenever I want to play Fates, I always play Conquest or Rev. But uh, I've been playing Birthright and I've really been enjoying it way more than I thought I would. Like, really enjoying it. I guess it's because I never play it. And I was kind of expecting it to be a lot worse than it was. But at the end of the day, it still fades. I was never interested. I was really interested in Unicorn Overlord until a certain crowd just started to get into it and it showed me the weakness of the game. I will still give it a try one day. Look, I think the biggest thing that ruins Unicorn Overlord is people saying it's Fire Emblem. It's not Fire Emblem. It's not even remotely Fire Emblem. I don't really get why people draw that comparison, uh, other than it being like, you know, fantasy. So yeah, if you go into Unicorn Overlord thinking, oh, this is just going to be a Fire Emblem game, it's not. Oh, Pandro, unnecessary, but cool. May all find salvation. Birthright is okay, but the other two games are in both points better. Yeah, absolutely, for sure. Oh my goodness, Pandrea. <laughs> HP magic deck speed res luck. This guy. This guy. I, I honestly think Pandrea's got to be one of the best units in the game. It's obscene. Starts off good and only gets better. Who did you marry in Unicorn Overlord? This is the most important question. I don't think I got to that part. I don't think I married anyone. Like I said, I never finished it. I never finished it. I just started to get a bit weary of it. I really should. It's just been sat there, you know. 
But if I was going to... I'll help. I don't know. <laughs> like, the marriage mechanics and stuff, it's not the biggest deal for me. Probably whoever I find funny. Maybe the witch. The witch is kind of funny. If you beat Elf Country, you have the marriage option available. Oh, well, I did. <laughs> I must have just completely flanked on it. Uh, shows how much attention I pay. Is this good? I'm, I'm going to get so complacent because they're not attacking me yet. But I know they do, and they can. And these guys, I'm actually going to mark these guys. So what's their hit? 41. 41 might actually one-shot some of our units. Yeah, Pandrea gets one-shot from full. A bit spooky. Do you one-shot with, like, a regular weapon? Oh, she does. Nice. You gotta wait for the angel girls to arrive. I, I, you get an angel girl pretty early, don't you? I definitely had an angel girl. And making, like, flying squads was pretty useful. Gold! Yes, we need gold. <laughs> I have 26 gold. Or at least now, 1,026 gold. So gold is very welcome. I'm gonna occasionally tap these, just so I don't do anything silly. Because I know they, they do move at some point. They come at you, and then they also warp griffins or wyverns at you at some point. Let's get Hortensia across into the middle so she can actually heal people and be useful. God, Mary being an absolute beast? She is. She really is. I mean, Sigurd is an absolute beast, but she compliments him very well. The only enemies attacking you here are the giant worms, the snipers, and the sages on the stairs. Yeah, these guys are scary. Um, these guys are really scary. <laughs> well, that's alright then. Um, not lose. This is going to do nothing, right? <laughs> Two damage, why not? She'll probably crit on them as well. Okay, Panette. Not that it really matters, but... No more of that, please. Okay, well, I'll take your word for it. If I'm not going to be attacked, I may as well just blast these people. The rest only attacks if you block the crystals. Right. Right. I mean, what I seem to remember about this chapter is... They kind of, it starts off like this, where you're just kind of like, oh, this is alright, and then it gets kind of panicky. But maybe that's when by left moves? Don't forget, Linden Surge crit by left build, he will swip. Yeah, I would have liked to bring him on this, but there wasn't very much deployment. I'm also going back and forth on that. I mean, Radiant Bow, like, Radiant Bow Linden might be better. If we can get, oh, there goes a crystal. I don't know how many of those... Oh, they're moving. Okay, okay. Let's pay attention. Oh, I should get Fracture out for sure. So we can Fracture them. Which is very, very nice against the Worms. Swap. Uh, we probably don't need Silence. I mean... Can Panette reach? No. So there's no point doing this just yet. Iron Man done, you lost a crystal? Yeah, I'll add the crystal to the death counter. Hmm. Oh my goodness, Gold Mary, what on earth? She doubled them. How on earth is she doubling them? We might be able to take this one out just fine. So that puts them on 23, and then you might just do enough. 22, but he has alacrity. Yeah, let's do it. The sooner these guys are out of the way, the better. Worms are so scary. Uh, it's the worms that scare me on the port chapter. Warrior Rainbow Linden is really good too, but I'll surge crit Linden with free range accuracy. Yeah, it does sound very funny. We'll give it a spin and see how good it actually is. Worms are very slow. True. I forget Gold Mary actually does have a little... Oh, well, okay, no, never mind. Four. Yeah, they're very, very slow. I thought they were a little faster than that. Wow. Worm still really absurd damage. Yeah, true damage at max range. It's crazy. The ones on the ports, I'm pretty sure, do even more than these ones. I am sorry. Oh. So when I've done these uh, engage Iron Mans, like I did a few off stream before we started streaming it, the furthest I ever got was chapter 19. 
I lost on chapter 19. So if we get past chapter 19, I'll be at a new record, which is something. Something kind of exciting. Oh wait, could she have reached? Oh, she could have reached! Oh, we could have fractured and then just completely obliterated him. Oh well. I just assumed she wouldn't be able to get there. Oh, did I give Panette the boots? I gave Panette the boots, that's why. I think. Yeah, I think I did give her the boots. Classic favoritism. You don't have Kanto, so who are you? 41. Don't these guys, like, randomly have crit? Yeah, 16 crit. I think we just leave it for now. And we'll get out of the way of the crystals so they don't get any funny ideas. Uh... Hmm. The port map shouldn't be so bad. You can just turtle on the ship with Gold Mary holding the line and snipe the magic dudes that could actually damage her. Yeah, we could do it that way. Yeah, I'm still undecided how we're going to approach it. Because we could, we could just stay on the ship. Staying on the ship's probably smart. But pushing out is probably fun. So, I don't know. Right. You with your little dinky 11 sword. What? Still damaged. Got to kill the corrupted worms too on that port map. Yeah, that's the problem is... Staying on the ship, you need to have very good flyers to be able to deal with the worms, and our flyers are not very good yet. Like, Lapis just refused to level strength. Rosado hasn't gotten enough XP yet. That's what puts me off it. You can Corrin, Dragon Vein. Yeah, you spam fire. Oh! They're attacking. I guess she was blocking his route to the crystal. Thank goodness Hortensia has been leveling up like a complete demon. Okay, let's watch Panette one round this guy. Oh, nope. Oh, and a world tree. We seem to only get world tree on fracture and obstruct. <laughs> oh, here we go. 93%. She hasn't got full wrap. Panette! There we go. That's how a lady does it. <laughs> oh, I forget. Yeah, members get their emotes. I need to actually make some proper emotes because I think I just got like random ones that I made when I was bored one day. <laughs> I'll make some actual ones. Although the get one is pretty good. <laughs> I've, yeah, I think I just added emotes that I could use in comments. 93% miss? Yeah, I guess it is. Oh, that's Bond 19, Lucina. That's really cool. Nearly at the last one. In the last one, you get less countdown. And then we'll just be able to, like, bonded shield endless. Rev emote now. <laughs> yeah, I could make a rev emote. HP magic speed res. Perfect. Oh, speaking of. We have stat boosters. We have the speed wing from the last chapter. Uh... I was, I, I was going to do it in preps, and I thought, oh, I may as well do this on stream, and then I just forgot. So I kind of want to give the speed wing to Ivy. I know it's kind of... I should probably give it to, like, a Leer or someone, but Ivy, the one thing that she needs is... Well, the two things she needs is protection from crits and speed. So I think she'll actually do some work with it. And we might need her for Sigurd Paralog if we're going to do what I want to do on Sigurd's Paralog. Okay, so we've done with the first round of this map. 200 milliliter beer remote, <laughs> little beer flute. Don't start me on that, Lisbon. No emotes from other channels, yes. I mean, I've just, I, I just made emotes. I just, yeah, they were just stuff for me to put in the comments. But I'll, I'll make some actual ones that aren't, like, ones I spent, like, five minutes making. I kind of want to do this, but I also don't because the killer bow's not got an engrave. Okay. So, what I seem to remember is you head down here, and then he starts warping these guys. So, maybe we could pull some of these units out. Hmm. 
we could do this. Even with crits, they shouldn't kill her. Yeah, be fine. Just pull them out. Mr. Mima making a note. Notes. Let's go. I I can use um like paint softwares and stuff. I'm not amazing at it, but nice. <laughs> hey, crit machine. I love the net. Giving Ivy stat boosters. I mean, why wouldn't you give Ivy speed? It's like all she needs to get going. I I'll, I want to give her plus five speed from I uh, Lin as well when we have the bond fragments. Okay, so they're all like rushing out now. Okay. Uh, I actually don't like this because people can't come in to deal with the sages. Can they? Oh, that's not bad. And then Panette will one-shot the other sage, and then we just need to be able to deal with that sniper, which between, which is kind of funny using flyers for, but we might be able to do it between Hort and Ivy. 19, and... How do I look? Wow, she, she doubles and Ivy doesn't? Ivy cringe, all Ivy needs to be good at is to be crit. So false, so false. Yeah, being contrarian about good units, exactly. I think Ivy's a strong contender for one of the best units in the game. The, the only thing that makes me not say that is because you do need to do things like fix her speed. But once you fix her speed and she has a like anti-crit engrave, which she already has, then she's amazing. And then when you start doing things like bonded shield flyer blocking with her, oh baby. I mean, I'm considering for Roy Paralog getting an Excalibur and giving opponent. Ivy Vantage just for that map and just letting her wipe out all the Wyverns because she will probably one-shot them. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, no, that's fine. We're dealing with that guy with her net. Please be 100% hit. Okay, good. I'm specifically contrarian towards Ivy Empress Sweep. Oh, that's why you don't like her, because she's like, makes Selene a little irrelevant, right? Uh, Selene still has her Leaven Sword, I guess. Panette, kill. 91%, she needs more damage, so it's 100. 91 is just too low, too low. Okay, now that Panette's in her kind, now that she has Wrath, she's going to start getting a lot of XP from a lot of kills, and hopefully she'll snowball even harder. So these guys are going to kill some crystals, yes. but like I said, I'm not too fussed about that. Uh, this is the reason that Panette could do it was because of um, Ike engage. 23, 41. I'm not convinced. Oh, because I did that, he now can't move there. Genius, I'm so good at Fire Emblem. <laughs> I always forget this with the Corrin, like, floor stuff, is it counts as terrain for movement as well. Oh, but I guess we could dance him in. Should have used Amber, shake my head. I mean, come on, you know how biased I am about Panette. I'm not going to use Amber over Panette. <laughs> Ever. I mean, I, d I did use him. I used him in... We're probably not going to need Radiant Bow. Actually, we might need it for Edelgard, but... I'm just going to do this, just as an extra precaution. The snipers will go for your units. Really, they don't go for the crystals at all. Okay. Oh, let's get Sigurd back, and... Let's just heal her. Whatever. Who is Amber, anyway? So true. Okay, good. He doesn't actually have crit. Unfortunately, we don't get speed taken from this, right? It's only player phase. Oh, none of them go for it. Okay. Okay, so here they come. So we got to be a little careful now because this is not the range of the Griffin. What happens is these guys warp the Griffins in. It's pretty spooky. Ready for me? Do the Griffins have magic weapons or only physical? Only physical, okay. Go Mary kill. <laughs> yes, yes. God Mary. <laughs> Pinna Amber Alliance is the real rev route. Yeah, I guess you could use them both. I guess you could use them both, for sure. <laughs> it never gets boring, this. I love Override. What a fun ability. 
HP defense threat is okay. It's fine. She only has 18 strength. It shows how strong the uh, Silver Great Lance is. So, the question is... Do we try and come in here, or do we just wait for them to kind of run out of warps? I'm leaning towards running out of warps, honestly. Because that way we get all the XP, and it's a bit safer. And when these guys come, these guys are so scary. 71 on Edelgard. So if we hover in the I'll back, you command. make sure people are kind of healed. Our archers should just make mincemeat of them. Rush. Warp. But up to you. Uh... The problem is the magic. The magic that doesn't exist and I'm making up. There isn't any magic. Brave bows. Head of cards of each and claw to bad units. They can't hurt you. I wish that was the case. What even is that skill? Seal speed. Wonderful. I wish we got skills like that. Some of the enemy only skills are nutty. Like, what is it they get? They get darting blow enemies. It'd be awesome if we could get that. Um. Okay, well, we'll, we'll wait one turn just so we get an idea of how the AI works with this warping. I never see them warping by left in. They can warp by left in? I didn't even know that was a thing. Okay, good. Good that that doesn't happen. Claude having no bow, what a tragedy. Yeah, I know. They were kind of... They had to even make him a wyvern or a bow knight, I guess. They get stance skills? Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's, they're warping those guys in. Okay. I guess... Oh, and the dance. Be mindful. He doesn't get a mega dance, does he? Like uh, Hortensia did. Not that it matters, I guess, when only those two move. Oh no, the snipers! Oh, this actually could be really bad. Please don't be... Okay, they're going for the crystals, thank goodness. Speedwing, you must Iron Man the Rower patch this summer. Hey, if you make it, if you make a engage patch, I will 100% play it, yeah. Definitely. Connect, kill. Wow, that's actually kind of low crit. Griffins are so annoying. I gotta be careful bringing Hortensia in because people will get warped, but luckily there's no one to warp yet. Ah, that's a shame, Hort. I'm your knight to command. I'm not sure what we're going to do with Merin. She's just refused to level up strength. She's still incredibly useful. I mean, I guess we could give her strength from Roy. Or maybe we just fully commit to just making her, like, a super support. I hope I finish the rev hack before summer. I will... Oh, oh, I'll play... Absolutely play that. I'm very excited for that. But I imagine that will take some time to do. Uh, we probably don't want to heal Panette. Now, this is scary. I kind of wish I had override. <laughs> hmm. I mean, it looks like they're mostly crystal focused. There's no magic, so Gold Mary is probably okay apart from... Oh my goodness. That's not a kill, is it? No. Hmm. We could do Corrin freezing shenanigans. I'm not sure how much that helps, but we could do it. I thought about actually streaming the process so you can see what I've painted. I'd love to see how you do it. Yeah, absolutely. I know nothing about face hacking at all. The only thing I've really seen from face hacking is uh, before face and... Uh, Shadow Dragon in Fates. Like, what do you use for it? Is there, like, a specific program, or can you use one of the other ones? Like, Paragon or whatever. I, like, I, I know nothing about hacking. I'm just kind of talking out my ass here, really. Okay, let's start getting life bars off these fellas. Wow, he is 
chunky. But Vore Fates. Hey, I love the idea of the Vore Fates, and the guy hasn't really given any updates in, on it in like a year, but maybe it'll get somewhere eventually. The Vore Fates Iron Man sweep. Hey, I mean, I absolutely adore Fates, and anyone that wants to make content for it is A-OK -okay in my books. Uh, seeing as this guy can move, maybe we should go for him. Ah, but we don't kill. Oh, we kill with the funny steel bow. The funny steel bow that I really shouldn't use that much, but thanks to Speed Taker, we actually can use it. I use Paragon some other programs, or more like I did use many for Awakening. I already noticed that there are some differences, so I might have to get around some stuff. Cool, but, but yeah, I mean, if you want to stream it, I will 100% watch. That sounds awesome. I'd love to see the process of it all. Hey, this is not so bad. Because we can now start moving people in to help strike. Maybe even get Panette over there? No. Ooh, we could dance Pandreo, and maybe he can take a pot shot at someone. I need to put Rance into paint. You don't need to do that. The world is fine without that, I'm sure. Rancelations. Before Fates was decent, I guess. I think it has some good ideas. I think they definitely have some good ideas. But... They're not very well implemented. And the maps... I don't know if it was just due to Fates hacking being relative. Whoa, they warp the warpers? That's amazing. Oh, wait, that's not good. <laughs> okay, Byleth is coming now. Oh, and he, he went for the crystal. That's fine. Oh, warping the warpers is awesome because that means these Griffin Knights, yeah, that one on the left can't be warped. Okay. We'll take it. I'd like to deal... Wow. Okay. Good. Had good ideas, but the execution isn't good, especially for the time they invested. They really went more hard on the voicing parts. I know. Yeah, they got a bunch of Veffy Troopers to voice stuff. Where was my invite? I would have voiced stuff for them. <laughs> it was the maps. It was when I saw they did, like, Saleil's map but then took out the barricades, which is the interesting part about Saleil's map. I was a bit like, I don't know. They seem like guys that really want to make a game, but don't necessarily know what makes the game good, fault. if that makes sense. But hey, I mean, they work hard on it. Maybe, maybe his radio silence is him putting together something really good. I'll have to wait and see. Was mismanaged and still is, awful management? I know nothing about that. I, I have no clue about whether that is or not is is or not the case. Where are my words? Where are my words? I'm getting very complacent with this chapter, by the way. I'm barely paying attention, and we have to for Bylef. We have to for Bylef for sure. Ivy. Maybe not so much Ivy. We can get a Leer in for the bonus, maybe. And Griffins are so scary. This is our, like, mega tank a Leer. I should go back to the pool, but this is too much fun. I mean... I don't really know what to say. If I, if I was there, I'd probably be in the pool. But you're going to miss your favourite chapter, the port. Which we'll do after this one, I think. I mean, we could also do Sigurd, but... I'd rather just rip the band-aid off and get the port out of the way. Find out if we lose the run on it or not. I was thinking of making an Effie ROM hack inspired from Engage. Maybe a solo development isn't a good idea if I'm the one making it? I think solo development can work, but you have to be very skilled in all the different things. There's a lot of stuff that goes into a hack. Like, a lot of stuff. Like, I've played around, <laughs> sort of, with the, the, the Speedwing hack, and I've come to realise that 
It's all very well and good having some good ideas, but the parts that you enjoy and want to do, you'll do. But the parts that you don't enjoy and don't want to do, you'll kind of half ass, or at least I have in the past when I've messed around with stuff. And then that just leads to a kind of stinky end result. One day the Speedwing hack will be released. Just set your expectations low. Every hat that dies bites more than they can chew. Absolutely. Absolutely. The amount of people that I've talked to about their hacks and stuff, and they have these wild ideas that sound really cool. Oh, we can get Ike back. That sound really cool, but it's like, well, if you haven't even got the basics down, how are you now going to add all these like crazy features in? Let's heal a Leah. Let's always have a Leah as much help as possible. I can't wait to get hold out on her. Oh my goodness. Train and become better with the tools. You'll get the hang of it and become a bonkers hacker. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Start with small projects. Do like a one or two chapter little thing. And then once you start getting the feel for it, you can expand it. Or make a one, two chapter hack. And then if it goes well, then you can expand that hack I into a slightly longer nice. one by tweaking some stuff. I don't know. That is that. Like I said, I can't really talk too much on it because I've never made a full hack. I've just done a few silly maps. HP, strength, deck, speed, luck. She's finally leveling strength. Thank you, Panette. Luckily, her bond rank of Ike gives her a massive amount of strength. How do we see that again? Yeah. I guess plus three from Ike. It's pretty nice. Yeah, it's going pretty smoothly. We just got to be well aware that by left hits like a truck. But now I'm just tweeting. Tweeting with the map designs. Tweaking. One yeah. Four. Yeah, I think maps are probably the key. You want to have good maps. If your maps aren't fun, then your hack's not going to be fun. HP, strength, speed, defense, luck. Wow. You get some really good levels. This is really nice. It's very nice to see. Ah, bye, left. Okay. Okay. This should be fine. Yeah, see, without momentum, she does a lot less. She really relies on it. But that's okay. Maybe we'll do this and feed the kill to someone. I really can't into programming. I took one look at eventing, and yeah, I won't get anywhere with hacking. Yeah. Yeah, eventing is kind of wild. I'm hoping that uh, Lex Talonus, or however you say it, kind of gets... You know, it's improving all the time. The more user-friendly that becomes, the better, I reckon. All right, let's just start doing this because we haven't, and half your XP is nice. I have it. By left, won't attack. You put shine. someone in range. Trust. Yeah, that sounds that sounds really like that's the case. Yeah, I believe that. Speed defense res. Yeah, I, I totally believe that. He won't just sort of crater us into a kind of. <laughs> Oh, it's so scary as well. Crit 24. Effective dragon. Wonderful. Maybe we'll crit. Oh, wow, by left, speedwing. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, I might be overreacting to by left, but it's just, like I said, I haven't played this chapter many times. I've only done this chapter like twice ever. So it makes me a bit uncomfortable not being familiar with it. Okay. So what staff are we going to want for him? Fracture's nice. Freeze is nice. Guess we just heal people up. And it's a shame Panette's not here because she's like the life bar taker. But that's okay. I'll wait until you can tell an AI what you want programmed, then the external idea guy will win. I mean, we're getting there. I mean, some of the AIs will write you pretty good code, I've heard. But I think you do need to know a bit about code to get them to do that. But still, it's not bad. Okay, so we could bonded shield or do something to get him to swap out a sword of the creator. I don't know if he will do that. But let's just have a little peek at... Okay, well, Gold Mary is fine, obviously. She's Gold Mary. Gold Mary. 
Even if he crits twice, that's fine. So let's just do this. Yeah, by left here. By left is the emblem of engage haters. Okay. Oh, it's also can't be pushed. Never realized that. Anchor cannot be moved by skills. Huh. Do you think I'd know that with several hundred hours in the game? I do not. Oh, that would be so nice, though. Half here on boss XP. And we do need to debuff him. I probably should have debuffed him before gold marrying. <laughs> Let's not do that. Absolutely not, my goodness. Wow, that's with an accuracy increasing four on. He's anchored by the friends he made along the way. <laughs> that's very by left. Double, double crit would have actually been a kill, really? I'm so bad at quick maths. I'm very glad it wasn't. Right, let's just get a debuff on. 2% crit, though. Ah, it's worth it. We're not going to be able to kill him otherwise. We don't have buy left on. Hobble was actually kind of... Divine Pulse scared me that. Because last time we saw Divine Pulse was when uh, Celine died. The Divine Pulse crit. <laughs> Ooh, don't spook me like that game. Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Man, these crits, though, like, I do not like them. Rest in peace. Divine Pulse does what and engage? It turns a miss into a hit. It's pretty good. I've got it on Hortensia, and it works on uh, staves. So if you have a stave with a low hit percent chance, like um, in Trap or something, sometimes it will re-roll and hit. It's based off your luck stat, I think. There's no way we'll be able to do this. Oh wow, we actually can, but 6% crit, no thanks. I think we'll just do Kagetsu again. We don't have enough people here, wait a second. I mean, maybe we do. We, we are going to have to attack with Pandreo. Hmm. It's a luck depends, yeah. Yeah, I think it starts off at 30% chance to turn a miss into a hit, and then that 30% is increased by luck. But I don't really know what the formula for it is. It's a really good skill. It's a really good skill that I don't use on enough people. 50% plus luck. It's 50%? Oh, 30%. I was going to say 50%, my goodness. Oh wait, we can kill with a Leer bonus, uh, but we can't move to get a Leer bonus. Lame. <laughs> Hortensia? Wow, she actually takes it and doesn't face crit. But then can Pandreo get in... Well, I guess it doesn't matter what range she's in. Oh wait, we can move a Leer there. Let's do this, and this is probably better. Pandero can just die here, but ah, be all right. Cutting in. Oh, by left has divine pulse plus, right? So that's fifty percent. Got you. Nothing left to teach. Sigurd's hit increased skill or by left's divine pulse skill? I think divine pulse is better. Oh, we got the talisman because yeah, they only got like two crystals. Okay, well that was nice. That was a good little warm up. I feel a lot more confident in the port chapter now. <laughs> I was feeling a bit nervous about it, but yeah, that chapter is really not so bad because of the way the AI just chases after the crystals. It's not bad at all. Somehow, well done. Because the enemies are actually scary. A lot of those enemies can one round you. They just choose not to. Don't bother with lost and found skill. Current love support skill does four units, while by left is just one. Yeah. Now chapter 19, I know. Uh, I can't put it off forever. Even though part of me is like, oh, you could do the Sigurd, Sigurd paralogue next. We'll just, we'll just do chapter 19. 
rip the band-aid off. The question is, do we stay on the boat or not? I don't think we're going to stay on the boat. I feel like we should get off the boat. If we stay on the boat, um, Saphir automatically dies. And while we might not use Saphir, she's an incredibly good backup unit for when we do start losing units. Because she's just great out the box. <laughs> the funny thing about Saphir, though, is she dies on turn one. So you gotta got to warp for her. Or have, like, a flying Allure. Good old low frame rates. Yeah, we might see that if there's enough reinforcements. The thing with Chapter 19 is they build that massive death ball in the middle if you take too long. And then that starts lagging the switch. Because the switch can't handle it. You can't use the rescue or reposition skill on green units. I don't have a rescue. I'm desperate to get a rescue to the point where if I have the items for it, I might four star wells. I don't think we, ha we can do a four star well here. I'm not even sure we can do a three star well here. But I would like to start doing them. Silver. Nice. Iron. What are the dogs got for us today? Another silver. Okay, two silvers. That's good. We'll take that. We will absolutely take that. Okay, well, be kind to us. I can't remember if this was a three or a four star. Probably a three star. So we have no money. Bro, just rescue her on the boat. I don't have a rescue. Whoa. Okay, this was a four star and then some. What is this? Look at all these items. Recover. Ah, oh, recover's a rescue roll. We could have got a rescue. Ah. I mean, I'm not going to say no to this because this is an absurd well. We can definitely do a four star now. Why? My goodness. Oh, but that was a, that was a rescue roll. Imagine if I was talking about it and then we got it. Then we actually could stay on the boat. <laughs> Silver bows we have no use for. Wow. Okay. Easy four star. Taint. It's not taint to have good luck. All right. <laughs> Insane. Yeah, jackpot. Like, actually jackpot. I mean, we've had some really good wells. We've also had some really stinky wells where we got like one item or two items. It's kind of balancing out. Oh, but that's gold. Oh, we actually have gold now because we can sell some of that stuff. Oh, this is perfect. Right. Uh, I guess so. I can have a level and then maybe hot. When did Satrine die? Uh, when did Satrine die? Bune, please. It was quite a while ago. We we had a couple of deathless streams, I think. I can't remember how Satrine died. Does anyone remember? She probably got doubled by someone knowing Satrine. Strength, deck, speed, defense, res, luck. Hey, more defense. 27 defense alert. Let's go. I had a five-star well and only got two basic SP books. Really? The thing with a five-star well is you can actually get stat boosters out of it, which is crazy. But um, you have to put so much gold to get a five star. Good level up. Oh, this Alir is the, the. I'm never gonna have an Alir like this ever again. Okay, you lose Hortensia. Oh, okay, well she can just have both. Yeah, I've very rarely done five star wells. You get brave weapons out of it, which is pretty cool. But you basically have to put brave weapons in. You're just the rolling the dice, soul. hoping for uh, stat boosters. Yeah, Satrine probably ate a straight arrow somewhere. Yeah, I really can't remember. I can remember all the other ones. FTA was a Pegasus Knight that just one rounded her instantly. Vanda got doubled in Yunakas. Louis, I walked him into a mage. Celine got crit by Hortensia. Jade? I think Jade was chapter 10 as well. Yeah, it was, she was uh, Hyacinth. But Satrine, I can't remember at all. Satrine might have been Hyacinth as well. We had a bit of a mess at Hyacinth. Ooh. Wait, is that Bond 20, but we just haven't upgraded it? Oh, it is. Hey. The more we fight beside each other, the more I see how cool you are. I, I'm watching this because I just want to see how many you. times Marin says cool. Oh, if you only knew how I see you, you carry yourself with such confidence i truly envy that you do what a nice ah she didn't say cool again do. lame she's so cool brave bow to mirror for funny sandstorm will you do it brave lance yeah absolutely we get a brave lance in chapter 19 i'm pretty sure i'm i think you get a brave lance you either get a brave lance oh no is it a brave axe on Sophia? you get a brave weapon next chapter 
Like, the game starts giving you one of each brave weapon in the next few chapters. Yeah, I'm not watching a Bune support. I don't even know why I'm activating a Bune support, to be honest. It's a brave axe? Ah, okay. But you, you do get a brave bow. Maybe it's in the uh, Gris chapter in one of the chests. You do get a brave lance. Not too far away. Okay, so we, we actually got a uh, 1k skill book there as well. Now, uh, can we do anything with it? Do we want to do anything with it? Oh, yeah, I said Ivy. Speed on Ivy. Oh, speaking of. A momentous occasion. Speedwing. Handing out a Speedwing. Here you go, my dear. And a Spirit Dust as well. Why not? Talisman. I'm going to put on a Lear. <laughs> Let's just keep making this a Lear as bulky as possible. We're going to give her hold out as well. She will not end the run. You get the Brave Lance from Morvia in the same port map. Really? Oh, perfect. Even better. We might swap Crit back onto Tamara with the Brave Lance because that does sound very funny. Linden. We need to train Linden, and I'm not sure where and how to do it. Maybe in Chapter 19. Chris Chapter has Silver Great Axe. We already got one of those, so that's just money. Which is very nice because we need money. We need money desperately. His supports are peak writing. Bune, actually, weirdly enough, does have some pretty good supports. Hello. His support with Fagado is really, like, it's one of the hardest hitting supports in the game, which is so weird that it comes from uh, Bune. Yeah, whatever that'll do. Okay, good food, John. Give us a good option. Capable, skilled. I guess we'll go for this. Please be good. Please, please, please be good, John. This will be just like mixing medicine. Oh, we need okay, to have something so nice, and we're also going to tonic where we can. Together. Looks good. Looks good. I hope. I hope I it think is, you'll John. Really like this is one of my favorites. Yes, 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 yes. Wonderful flavor. <laughs> Bune is the most neurodivergent every oh, Yes. Oh, if younger, we've either killed off all the young units, or we're not using them. But that's a still okay. That's still okay. It's something. I mean, neurodivergent Meron's pretty autistic. I'm not gonna lie. Like, <laughs> if we're talking about which characters are autistic and engaged, I think Meron's quite a high shoe in. Hmm. Obsession with animals. Obsession with like catchphrases and calling things cool. So what can we do here? I think Killer Axe would be nice. Yeah. I think the more might we get on I'll this, be the here. better, because we need Panette to hit one-shot thresholds. I'm back from water. Anything happen? A deathless by left clear. Hey there! It was actually really easy. It was probably Love one that. of the easiest chapters we've done in this mid-to-late game section. Which was nice. It's Thanks nice when shopping. things go all right. come again. Why do you keep pointing out she's best girl? Damn, I know. Yeah, I mean, Meryn is great. I love Meryn. Pune is full of autism. I mean, the way that he's mm. like, can I taste your weapons and stuff is weird. I don't know if that's autistic or, like, psychopathic, really. Uh, What was we... We were going to do Killer Axe, weren't we? Yeah. Mm. And that's about all we can do. Unless we buy more, like, things. Oh, Meryn, I'd love to help you out, but you'll have to wait. I'll be here. So, port chapter, port chapter, port chapter. What do we need? I think we pretty much got everything. What are our... Oh, you can't do convoy? Um, well, we've got quite a few tonics. That'll probably be enough. Oh, yeah, this! I completely forgot! <laughs> Maybe we'll just save it. What kind of speed are you looking at now, Ivy? So I would like Ivy to be able to double things. 23. Okay, I'm just going to go back to the arena quickly just to look at how many bond fragments we have and then we'll go. <laughs> Do you think Brunei would want to taste the Chris Chan Sonatu medallion? Absolutely he would. 
He wants to taste everything, and like the stranger it is, the more he wants to try it. Okay, bomb fragments, 1,600. I don't think we're going to get anywhere near enough with Lin. No, not even close. I just, I don't think that's happening at all, really. Maybe we could just buff someone. Someone's like bond rank, so they get better stats. Uh, who's recently had someone new? No one, really. Oh, we could give Lind advantage. Why not? I know we're going to do like free no range order. shenanigans with him, but ready? having vantage is still pretty nice. I am Leaf, the Prince of Leonster. Bune wants to taste humans too. <laughs> Begin the experiment. I'm really stronger. excited to use Linden because I like never I use Linden. I've used him for like one very chapter ever. His voice lines seem very funny. I don't care what he has to say to Leaf though at all. <laughs> In the slightest. We might swap Vantage out for something else later, but it's pretty cheap. And it will allow us to move in with him and do some stuff we might not be able to do otherwise. We, we must see the crit. I just, I don't think Linden's going to reach um, 100%. No, Inherit. I, I don't think it's going to be 100%. It's going to be very high. But that's my only problem, is that I think he's going to be sitting at like 80%. But that's all right, because we won't be vantaging with him often. Okay, that's good enough for me. Let's just go. Can I go from here? Yeah, I uh, may as well save. I mean, I know this is an Iron Man, but just in case... <clears throat> Thunder is better on Linden versus L Thunder. I mean, Thoron. Yeah, it probably is. Yeah. Do we have one? I don't think we have one. I guess we could buy one. We do have a little bit of gold. And that means we could actually sell that Thoron as well at some point when we do need to... I mean, I, I do a lot of my preps in between these streams where I'll do stuff like selling weapons for gold and min-maxing stuff a bit, so I'll just save it for them. Oh. Can I sell from this menu? Sell. So what do we need? We need 500 gold. Perfect. Anything to put off the uh, port for another few seconds. Oh, I'm getting nervous. Old man bishop being best unit, classic. I mean, I don't know if he's best unit, but uh, we'll try and make him good. Okay, here we go. This is now officially... Well, I got to this chapter, but we're now officially on level with my record. Although, when I did come into this chapter last time, I had, like, no units left, so it's not really the same. This run has been miraculous for keeping the good units alive. Gonna heat up some food? Ooh. Don't make me hungry. Mm. Oh, the miasma. I forgot quite how much of it there is. <laughs> oh, this chapter. Oh, this chapter, look at this. Minus 20 plus 20 everywhere. So these houses are kind of bait. Uh, you go in the house, tons of enemies that will one-shot you come out. This house, if you can get it, is kind of worth it because it has a Draco shield in it, but not in the house on an enemy that comes out. This house is complete bait. It's got like a pure water or like a elixir or something inside it. So we'll just ignore this. You're going to play this normally? You're going to do the cheese strat? Yeah, I guess we've got to kind of decide. Our units are pretty strong. I think we can do this normally. And by normally, I mean spamming Corrin. <laughs> Watch out for the hero in the first Morvier warp. They always get me killed. Yeah. Wait, have I done that? What, this guy? 29 speed? Oh, yeah, that's the guy that kills Saphir on turn one. Okay.
So we just get all our flyers in the middle so they come across. I think we're going to do it properly. I think the boat's boring. Staying on the boat is so boring. And it can actually go wrong. It's boring and then goes wrong when the worms one-shot people. So we're going to need warp. We'll probably want fracture. Let's get rid of that for now. We'll be able to swap out staves on her. Because everyone's just going to stay close. Real and based as always. <laughs> I mean, we'll see. It might end the whole run doing it. But uh, we'll give it a good shot, shall we? Right, let's get Erica back on Lapis. Erica! Oh, by left on Linden. Oh, Linden's not deployed. Okay, so we need to actually choose. Who do we drop for Linden? Lapis Bros, it might finally be time. It might finally be time. In between Lapis and Rosado, they're pretty much at the same state right now. And then Rosado has, like, much more room to grow. Gotta head to work. See you in a bit. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. As much as it pains me as a deep Lapis enjoyer, this Lapis has been pretty cursed. So I think it's gonna be like this. Yes, get her out of here. You don't like Lapis? Come on, man. Who doesn't like Lapis? Which means I guess Ivy can stick with Erica. We probably should give Erica, Erica Bond rank to her, but I can't be bothered to go back to the arena now. Okay. Which means we now need to swap these guys around again. Oh, wait, do we not have enough flyers now? Oh, no, Ivy. Oh, boy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. How does Erica benefit Ivy? She doesn't. She gives her plus one magic. <laughs> but for lack of better option, you know, Ivy doesn't have a ring. We'll probably give her Celica when we get Celica. It's something. Zephyr energy? Yeah, we'll see. Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. Focus, I need to really focus a little bit here because this chapter is not one I'm good at. Divine one, the flame cannons. Shut up, Alfred. Right. Okay. Watch Corin just get one rounded on turn one here. I can fight. Okay, so we're gonna talk. Well, if it is Sophia, I will talk about Sophia. I will talk about Sophia. I think Sophia is really good. I think Sophia is a really, really good unit. But we might not use her. Or we might not use her right away. And then we'll blame. We're gonna be doing a lot of that. Okay, that guy can hit her. I just hope the hero doesn't come in and like smack around. So Sophia, let's talk about Sophia. Sophia is a fantastic unit. She's a warrior, which is like the best class. She comes with really good base stats. I mean, she's a little weighed down, but only by one. Yeah, she has 15 build, comes in with 2000 SP. She's a perfect replacement unit to just come straight in, get to work right away. Her personal is if she's under 50% HP, she gets hit and avoid plus 20, which actually makes her almost better than Panette at doing what Panette does. The only difference between her and Panette being Panette probably has XP and skills at this point. Because with the 20 hit, you don't have to give her Lin Engrave. You can give her Erika Engrave on the Killer Axe, meaning it has more might. So she does the Wrath Vantage thing just as good, if not better. Really, really solid unit. Big fan of Saphir. The thing is, we've got good warriors. So if one of them dies, she'll come straight in. If not, you know. Whatever. Bring it on. So she can die. This guy just one rounds her, and Morvia will warp on turn one. So let's just get her down. I mean, do, can we see the warp range? Probably not, right? We'll just have to do it manually. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Ah. Oh. oh wait, but does he get increased staff range from? 
10. Oh my goodness. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, well, we'll just have to body block him. Shall I go? He'll probably go for one of these two anyway, just so he can um, break them. We're a little careful with Panette, actually, because she gets doubled. <laughs> Might put her in vantage range, though, which would be good. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to well, move yeah, everyone up. I'm not go. even going to bother clearing the uh, Miasma out from down here, because we're never going to fight down here. My plan is to hold this point, push forwards, maybe even pull Morvia. The infamous chapter 19, yes. I might clear Please, this fog, though, Understood. because this fog, sometimes you want to come up to fight the worm. These guys don't get one-rounded, right? You might get one-rounded. Do you get doubled? No. Okay, she doesn't get one-rounded. I'm just so scared of that hero. It's the hero warp. They intentionally did it to show you, like, to scare you. Scare, <laughs> absolutely scare the life out of you. I hated this map. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this map. I'm not a big fan of the Miasma. I think the Miasma is a cool concept and like getting rid of it is fun when there's just a little bit of it. When the entire the is map yours. is covered in it, it's really nasty to play with. This is okay, I think. I'm just wary of that hero warping in. We'll keep these yep. guys on the boat because there's no reason not to. Ready and able. Oh, if I hadn't put Rosado there, actually, we could have done a hit and run with the four on. Oh, well. Okay, here we go. Do not one-shot someone, please. Please don't one-shot someone. I didn't use the flame cannon. I should have just used the flame cannon. I don't know why I didn't. Oh, well. I'm too nervous. Oh, don't kill a Leer. That would be awful. <laughs> I, I do think it's really cool that... Wow, that's a lot of damage. That's Panette with Ike. The Miasma is there to fortune a defensive. Look at this. Ah, oh, like, insane tank Alir. Oof. Thank goodness I used the Corrin fire, because me using the... Forgetting the flame cannon there would actually have killed her. Oh, boy. Okay, well, it's good lose. that Panette now has some damage on her. So I'm not going to do the flame cannon right away. I mean, I might, but I'm probably not going to. But I just want to see... Oh, yeah, we can put it quite far out. Let's do this. Question, does anyone know if you Astra Storm Morvier, does he come in? Because, honestly, I would be kind of down for just pulling him right away before he does all these shenanigans. Because the thing is, there's more reinforcements come in here, and it builds up into a massive death ball, and then the death ball descends on you, and it's terrifying. <laughs> so if we could avoid that, I would be quite happy to. Okay. This is probably fine. I'll help. The Miasma is there to force you into defensive position. Did I read that already? I can't even remember. <laughs> but yeah, no, I That's get the point of the Miasma, it. but... Oh, it's so nasty. The 2020 swing is obscene. Linden Gaming. Yeah, see, without Wrath, he doesn't actually have... He doesn't get that much crit. It's not that crazy an amount of crit that he gets. Man, the Brave Axe is... I always forget the Brave Weapons in this game without any skills are kind of shoddy. It's when you have skills that they really shine. Now, the more Speed Taker we can build up, the better. Yeah, maybe we will just take out this guy. This feels like a map I would design. It's perfect. Really? You would design a map like this? I mean, I get the idea behind it. I'm just not a huge fan. Like, don't get me wrong. It's it's fun enough. I need to remember Hortensia does not have Canter. This hero needs to go. He's got to go. 
It's the heroes that are so scary on this map. So, so scary. Oh, I didn't use any tonics! <laughs> oh well. Ah, I didn't use any tonics. Tonics would have been huge here. Oops. I mean, we seem to be able to deal with them all right enough about it. Wow, God, Mary. I don't even remember how I beat this map the first time I played it. I just remember I had to use all my Divine Pulse charges in the first turn. I think when I first played this on the channel, I used all 10 or like 9 or something. I used a lot. I designed one map in my life and it never was a full design for me. I had a 50-50 love-hate split. I love it when enemies overwhelm the player and you're forced into a defensive position, but it's not a defense map. Enemies warp skipping you with a legendary. Yeah, the warping is such a cool concept. It's a cool concept. It's just very scary. Linden. This is what I'm saying about Linden. We need to train him. Okay, we might be able to get back up from Tamara. If we train Linden, he'll be good. Oh, she doesn't have a Rider's Bane. Oh, we should have taken Lapis's weapons. I've messed up so much. Oh, well. Yeah, we should have taken Lapis's weapon. She has a Rider's Bane plus three, which would have been amazing for this map. Come on, Sandstorm or something. Nope. Fifty-seven percent crit. Yeah, that is actually pretty good. That's not bad. And then when he has wrath, that's an extra thirty. So that's eighty-seven. Nice. Oh. Nice. Old man gaming. Is Tamara dead now? Intriguing results. Ah, no, I don't think so. We still have a dance, and we still have Ivy. Oh, but the warping. Don't forget the warping, don't forget the warping. Okay, what we can do is we can kill, canter, dance, heal. Five-star unit Tamera moment. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. The thing with Tamera though is I'm I'm the like fence sitter on her. I don't think she's like the worst unit in the game by any means. I also don't think she's really good. We took away her crit engraving, because with, with the Killer Lance engraved, she was hitting pretty high crit. But we gave it to Linden for the funny. <laughs> we might give it back to her with the Brave Lance. Oh yeah, let's see if Matey was right. Yep, droppable Brave Lance. Very nice. Not that I didn't believe you. I just always like to check myself. Uh, can we get a axe that doesn't slow her down much? Oh, we're not using either of those. I guess she's only slowed down by one. Okay. I mean, now he warps these guys, which are still scary by no means, but they're not that hero. The hero is the one you could really be scared about. Our foes are strong. Hmm. Can we do this in a way that it doesn't heal Panette? Okay, good. Tamara isn't the worst unit again. She's the fourth worst. Weren't you using the bonus weapons earlier on? Nope. Never touched them. As far as I remember. Don't you feel foolish? Okay, he's got wrath now. Here we go. It's time. It is absolutely time. Linden, no, no. Linden, yes. This is intentional. I intentionally did that. Now we... Oh, he healed on the... Ah, oh, I'm stupid. Okay. And I intentionally ruined it. Better get to work. Better get to work. Now we just have to be a little cautious of him. Uh... Oh, we could silence. Okay, I see what we can do. Maybe. We can silence Morvier to stop him warping. Ooh. So, the funny, I might not do it now, but the funny is now, because by left gives plus free range when engaged, right? We can use L Surge, which is a one range, 100% accuracy weapon like this. So now we have a 100% accuracy, 73 crit weapon. And if we hadn't just healed for 10, it would have been 83% crit. 
The funny has been achieved. The problem is he just doesn't really have the stats yet. But with some levels, he'll be good. Morvier can't be silenced. Can he not? Ah. Uh... My turn. Oh, you can't. Yeah, you can't silence. Oh, he's got. It's yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. I was gonna say you can definitely silence bosses, but isn't that a Makaya thing? Uh, it doesn't say anything here. Is it on the Shine Tome? The funny has been achieved. Yeah, it's just a shame that he doesn't have much damage behind it yet. We might not even need to use the fire cannon. Uh... Tempting. Am I getting overconfident? I mean, she'll eat shine, but how much does shine do to her? Ooh, 41. <laughs> 41 times 2. No, that obliterates her. <laughs> That's not... Oh, but Morvia... It's not Morvia that attacks. No silence ward, it's over. Ooh. I mean, if we heal Panette, we could try it. We could heal and... Oh no, you can't use a pure water and do the funny. She'll take half damage with Lagoos. I think she can do it, actually. Very Even though I'm not doing the maths properly, I'm pretty sure she can do it. As long as we don't eat those heroes. Yes, yes. And then we just need to kill this guy off. Oh, we could even use uh, Linden. We need to start feeding Linden. He needs magic levels desperately. Something Oof needs to implement in his engage hack. What? Not being able to silence Morvier. Oh, yeah, that's what I was originally going to do. Where's Hortensia? Oh, she's there. Oh, and we danced. Oh, well, I can't do it anymore. Oh, so he will warp them into her 40 damage, 10. Okay, we'll block her. We'll block her in. <laughs> I got too excited at the Panette funny. Uh, so, and that means we can't do Linden either because Linden will die. We need to not have anyone where uh, where that guy can hit, so they go for Panette instead. Okay, that works. Silence Ward. Yeah, it's Silence Ward to every magical enemy in the game. I mean, the, the thing with Silence in this game is you barely use it anyway. It does have some uses, and when you do use it, it's really good. But you just don't use it often. Uh, it looks like that guy's going to go for someone regardless. May as well be Gold Mary. And then we just need to block Hortensia so only one of them can hit her, maybe? I mean, we could even use Rosado for this right now because we're not using the fire. I'll do my best. Always use this when we can. We could even. Ah, uh, we don't want to heal him actually because of wrath, but it's a combination of not wanting to hit him and being scared of someone being warped in. I shouldn't have used that sucker. Oh well. All right, here we go. Panette, please don't just instantly die. Um, um, I was not expecting that. Oh no, Panette. Okay, she has Resolve. Oh, that's still so much damage. But they're going to block. They're going to block each other. They're going to block each other. They're going to... Oh, oh, I'm coping now. They're going to block each other. Okay, that guy doesn't double. That's amazing. I did not think he would bring her in this early. Normally this chapter takes hours. Why is he doing it so soon? Because I moved Panette up. Is Panette over? No, it's not. It's never Panette over. I can't believe he did that so early. We might not even have to deal with the worms at all, which is awesome. Wow. Okay. 
and the death pool hasn't built up because look all these reinforcements normally join marnie until she has like 30 units around her let's go for that they should put them all really low <laughs> Those are great knights, and she's doing 27 to them. Yes, Panette, yes. Okay. I was... Okay, we need to... Re I need to actually focus, like, quite severely here now. Can he warp Marnie? Has anyone ever seen him warp Marnie? I've never seen him do this, ever. Normally he runs out of warps, and then he rescues her. Will he walk Marnie at me? Because if that's the case, I'm very scared. Has anyone ever seen that? I'll do some of this while I wait to see if anyone knows. He can? Oh my... I've never seen that. Oh no. He can warp Marnie into you, who then will do Blazing Lion and hit us for about like 50 damage. Oh my... Oh, that's terrifying. He should warp, but unsure for Marnie. Yeah, Morvier is smart AI. Yeah, he's one of the smartest AI in the game. I don't know why his AI is so much better than everyone else's, but it just is. What about this? On to him. Oh, he's on. Oh, they're both on Miasma, so we can't even do anything to them yet. We need them to come forwards. Panette's kind of trapped. Uh, but she is engaged. Oh my goodness. She cannot survive that. We have to get her out. <laughs> we have to get her out. Um, hmm. Oh, I... Oh. Oh, no. I, I need to think. We could four on kill this guy, and then... Oh, now these guys are coming in. See, I, I'm just a bit flabbergasted because I've never had this happen before, so I don't have a precedent. Okay, we can move up. Up looks reasonably safe until the worm moves. Like, if Panette... Panette can probably shuffle backwards and she can take some of them. She just can't have all of them hit her. I'll help. Thank you, Meryn. Dual Assist Plus is so useful. Now that was a party. Andreo, HP, magic, res, luck. Guy, this guy, <laughs> he's so good. I think the worm at the top will eventually aggro you. Yeah, he will. He will, but we can deal with him. We just need to not have Panette eat. Yeah, so how much is... Okay, Blazing Lion does 10 to her, and she's one of our tankiest units when she has um, eye cut. A bit concerning. Let's shuffle people up. Let's go up. Away from the warp. <laughs> Flyers should probably go where only flyers can go. Get out of there. Like I said, best map in the game. I wish I could agree. This map terrifies me, especially when it does things. Oh, Pandreo. No. Okay, we gotta block him. That's fine, we can block him. And those wolf knights can't get us yet either. Which is good. Okay, Panette can murder this guy, hopefully. Although the problem is she healed from Aether, so her, she's not gonna have full crit. Yeah, 55. Uh probably best to do this. We might get an assist from Meren. If not, someone else can finish it. The greatest map. You guys like this map? I mean, it, it's fine. I, I, my pulse is racing a bit, which I guess is a good thing. Oh wait, the knockback actually makes that irritating. I guess. Oh no, because we have to block Pandreo. Twelve, forty-four. Okay, he can take one hit. It's just more speed ticker. Maybe Cannon Fire will block them. True, but I kind of want them to come in at this point. If they want to rush me, I'm more than happy for Marnie and Morvier to come in. More than happy. Like, ideal situation, honestly. Uh, let's trade back to the... Killer Axe. Just so we 
might not get doubled. I mean, we probably still will, but... Uh, we could have also bonded shield there. Uh, do we keep Panette damaged? I think we do, because it's not that much damage on her. Woo! Okay, he's coming. He's not warping her. Uh, I actually kind of wanted him to warp her there. Not only because it would have been cool, but Marnie is scarier than him by a long shot. Okay, she's now damaged enough that she will one round Morvia, which is very nice. Although Seedow's really far back, we might not get to dance, but we could do a uh, by left dance. I will not lose. Yeah, I, I kind of wanted him to warp her. It would have been very funny and very terrifying. Wow, you don't double? <gasps> no, 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 Pantreo! 15% crit? He's got the four on. Ah, uh, no, that's our like best unit. Ah, Pantreo. No. No way. The four on with the crit avoid missing. Oh, that's so sad. Now we definitely need Linden to pick up some slack. My goodness. Where's Pandre? Ah, uh, Lady Anna's back on the menu. I wish. She is so far behind now. Ah, uh, that's what happens when you have um, minus crit avoids. Oh, we, we needed him for Marnie so badly. Wait, this kind of spit. Where's this guy going? What? Oh, is he going down here for Rosado? That's kind of funny. Thing is, if we put Panette in there, she's going to get blitzed. We're definitely going to fire cannon, but then the problem with fire cannoning is now this guy's threatening us. 34 times... 34 times 2. Any room for funny warrior lady? I mean, yeah, I guess Sophia's now being called up. Ah, and our dance is all the way back here. And our other dance is also back here. Wait, that guy can also attack? Oh, no. We can't use the flame cannon. I don't think we can use the flame cannon. Not safely. The good thing is, the shine is the only magic. And how much is that going to do to Gold Mary? 41 times 2. But she also has gentility. And she'll also take damage from one of the other ones. I don't think Gold Mary survives that, actually. It's just such a shame our dancers are up here, otherwise I'd be all game for just blitzing him. I missed it. He got crit. Fine by me. He got crit. Oh, and these guys are coming in. Lovely. Oh, this chapter is a nightmare. Blazing Lion does 38 to our 29 defense, Alir. 38. Oh no. No, 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 no. Everything's going wrong. Save us, God Mary. One, two. Okay. We have to push these guys back so we can come up here. Please hit. We need to make a sacrifice to Meryl's right there. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if the sacrifice... The, the thing with sacrificing in Engage is it doesn't really work so well because everyone gets one-rounded. So if you sacrifice someone, all it does is clear the path for the rest of them to swarm you. Classic Iron Man BS. No, it's it's my fault for not trading off the Foron. I completely forgot that that's a um, minus crit avoid engrave. I was kind of asking for it in a way. Ah, uh, no. Okay, so we have summon doubles. Let's think about what we have. We have summon doubles. We have bonded shield. The problem is our best bonded shield user was Pandreo, because Pandreo doesn't get doubled by anyone. We could bonded shield Panette. The problem is there's two range guys, like these guys. Um, And Shine, obviously. 
we still have Ike. Hmm. Oh, this is such a nasty situation. Get the people that we're not going to use out the way. I just want to be in a position where we can... Okay, so the two range guys can't get us here. I want, I want to be in a position that we can dance and do a, like, mega dance turn and hopefully just obliterate as much as possible. Well, Tree, thank you. Potencia. So I think we bonded shield Panette and hope for the absolute best. Well, they got B rank and a B rank. So actually, I want Panette here. No. Yes. Maybe. Oh, this is relying on Meron not dying as well. Oh, this is nasty stuff. So we swap to the dodge dagger. She has 160 avoid thanks to the two B supports. We bonded shield. We go on Corrin. We fog. Meron has 190 avoid. Morvia, if he wants to go for Kigetsu, that would actually be great. So this is fine. Even though it gets mm, it gets rid of her crit, but it's just more survival chance. If anyone else dies, their portrait's gonna block the viewer retention gifts. True, yeah. That is true. I mean we could always shrink down the portraits. Oh boy. I guess. We just have to see what happens here. This is a nasty position to be in. Hopefully Meryn's untouchable. And this doesn't do, like, no a ridiculous time. amount and doesn't have crit. Apes and crit! But at least he, he doesn't double because of Bonded Shield. Oh no, he just doesn't double in general. Awesome. We want to be in a position where Marnie can't reach us, but we can deal with Morvia without Marnie reaching us. That would be ideal. From these great knights is, yeah, two damage. Wonderful. <laughs> You looking down on me? If only we had a uh, mage knight to deal with them. <laughs> I mean, the good thing about this position is Ivy can fly off the side and snipe people with magic. Oh, don't move as well. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Okay. That's what I was worried about was the worm would start moving. Look at this. This chapter. Oh, I hate this chapter. <laughs> Should have stayed on the boat. Yeah, you love this theme. Yeah, it is a good theme. So. Moment of truth. Do you one round? No, but then the other guys do. We can't necessarily snipe with Ivy. Oh, we can't snipe with Ivy. Oh, that's kind of annoying because what we want to do here is kill this guy. Shuffle Panette and Meryn forwards. We will probably have to eat a blaze. The problem with Blazing Lion is because it's an engaged attack, it has 100% accuracy. So Meryn can't dodge it. And it might one round Meryn. Oh no, 24. Okay, it doesn't one round Meryn. How are we going to deal with this guy? Oh. oh, wait. And then there's all this as well. How much damage does this worm do? 42. So this worm does... I've got too many overlapping radiuses. The worm does 42 true damage. We're running out of room. Oh, we're running out of room. <laughs> Let's just get these guys out the way. Uh, we can use this flame cannon, and we definitely will in some way. Oh. Can Rosado reach? Thank you. Why can they all hit Rosado? Oh, it's doing that thing from the other chapter where it's like, they could use the flame cannon, but they're not going to. I hope. <laughs> okay, well, at least we can do this, and this buys us a little bit of time. They've taken this boat. There's no escape now. I know. We're being, like, squished into a corner. It's very scary. 
god mary they can still walk through that why oh uh, okay he has zero percent crit why it's a it's an elf under versus a silver axe why has he got zero percent crit what why has this guy got so much crit avoid 12 dodge what my goodness okay never mind The thing is, with by left engage, we get massive range, so maybe we can actually elf fire. This isn't going to be enough. Um, hmm. Because the problem is, I would just go here and do this. Maybe we can canter four on with Ivy. The thing is, I kind of want that room for Kigetsu potentially. No. Does Morvia have an AoE crit void skill? Oh, maybe. Royal Knights do something really weird. I don't think it's crit avoid, but they like shield damage or something. The problem with this is we now don't have by left dance. We don't actually have too much room to do by left dance. Now, hopefully, Ivy can chunk and run. Yes. I have it. Me too. Me too. Rest now. Uh, it's just Marnie. I'm so worried about Marnie. Dex and defense. Okay. Not the best level up, but that's fine. <laughs> level ups might not matter very soon. Right. Oh, that's so much less damage than I was hoping for. 18, 36. Oh, I'm so bad at maths. I don't think it's enough, but it's something, hey. Uh, we can't attack with Merin because Bonded Shield. We're just going to do the same things we did last turn, but move up. If, if, if he crits her, we're in so much trouble. But we don't have any option. We have to be on the offensive now. Thank you for that. Okay, it wasn't enough. That's fine. is fine. We've still got the funny avoid dagger. I mean, some of them can hit a leer, which is kind of scary, but don't really have much choice in the matter. We can do this. Oh, <laughs> Of all the times I've done oh, this chapter, so I've never done it this way. I, I just don't know what made him rescue so early. I think we moved Panet over some threshold. HP, deck, speed, luck. Oh, we just upgraded him. Wonderful. I forgot the purple. Oh, I'm, I'm just losing my mind here a bit. Some tonics would have been very nice. So what did he get from that? Fanny, oh no. Effective cavalry armored. Well, thank goodness we weren't blocking with gold, Mary. Uh, if he can hit Merin, he would one shot her, but I don't think he can. Nah. Although he 146 hit. Wait, he has 156 hit. That's kind of scary. Oh boy, let's heal Panette. Wait, no one can get Hortensia, right? No. I would have liked to get silence on her. We could have sil Oh, we could have silenced him. Wait, we... No, we we can't because we can't canter out. Uh, let's do... These heroes have to go, but then also these guys have to go. I don't know who's scarier. But we could... Oh, no, we can't override because of the worm. Wait. I need to unmark some of these guys. I need to see exactly where the worm can hit. Okay, the worm can only hit there. That's fine. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is... Sometimes the speed yeah. has to get creative. Yeah, I think so. That was my moment. Hey, Gold Mary. 
HP, Dex, Defense, Res, Luck. Hey, Defense is fine. She doesn't need Strength. Copium. Oh. More Linden, perhaps. Maybe we could Goddess Dance, but I don't think that actually gives us much. I'm actually better off just doing something like this. I mean, sure, why not? Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Don't use the fanny. Or the Fanny, I don't know how you say it. <laughs> fanny sounds like something else entirely. Hey, Panette. See, if we tonic her, she would one round there. If I actually remembered to tonic. Oh, no, that's kind of... Okay, it's not so bad, but I didn't factor that in. Okay. I just hope Ivy can do enough damage to Marnie to put her into a holdout beyond below holdout. How are we going to deal with these guys? <laughs> There's too many of them. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> and eventually we're going to run out of uh, Corrin. Not Corrin, uh, Ike. There it is. And see Dao, of course, see Dao, and uh, my dancers are still so far away because we have to keep them like that. Okay, we need to kill that worm. Do I have fracture on me? Thank goodness I do. Okay, 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 okay. Focus mode. Extreme focus mode needs to activate here. Uh... We just have to we have to start taking these weird chart risky moves that aren't great. You have a few Corrin turns to stall one front. Yeah. You look distressed. Mind to take a sip of tea before making a decision? Yeah. I should have had tea. I had I had a coffee just before the stream. It's probably not good for anxiety. <laughs> nah, I mean I am I am a bit stressed, but it's not it's not too bad. I'm like very good when I kind of like when I know what I'm doing and I've got a kind of idea of what I want to do it's not so bad it's when you have to free ball it like this that it gets pretty spooky pretty fast there's no way both of those hit but what else are we going to use her for what I'm hoping to do here is um, clear enough space to fracture and then just hope that Kigetsu one rounds the worm with Merciless. Which he probably will, or close enough to. Maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe, hopefully. That's rolling a crit. Nope. That's fine. The only problem is that hero is also very spooky. So dodgy, man. Is that a stiletto or a steel dagger? Ah, oh, it's a silver dagger, so we can't even attack from range for... I, I mean, now we can do this, and this is much more likely to work. <laughs> British drinking coffee, blasphemy, true. I should probably drink more coffee than I do tea. Okay. Can we fracture from here? That'd be ideal. Yes. No. Worm, please. 60%. Okay. It was actually more than 60% because of Divine Pulse. Thankfully. Okay, actually, this would be good. If he can take out one of these guys on his way, that'd be awesome. Nice, nice, nice. I mean, hopefully Cedar can reach. I'm pretty sure he can. 
Uh, the, the thing is, the Four Hounds music is also very, like, tense. <laughs> I mean, when I first heard them do kind of a bit of electronic music in this game, like, the first time that you hear the, uh, the, like, enemy phase music, I was I was a bit unsure, but it's, it's grown on me a lot over time. I actually quite like it. Okay, that's not even close to one rounding. I'm not sure why I thought it would. Uh, what about the funky steel bow? No, that's even worse. God Mary might be able to then finish him off. What am I doing? <laughs> Silver X, please. If she can get enough momentum, she might be able to. I forget, Kagetsu isn't Panet. <laughs> Direct me. He has to hit normally. Ow. Oh, she's damaged. What about Boron? Because we this Wolf Knight is gonna bully someone as well. Oh, we have to rely on the chain attack. Okay, but if it misses, then we have Gold Mary. Hurry. Thank you. Okay, okay, that's one thing out of the way, because that guy doing 42 true damage just one-shots half our squad. So that's at least something dealt with. I think we have a Rider's Bane for Sigurd, don't we? Yeah, nice. Oh, God, Mary, please hit. Nice, is this nice, nice. Crime? Oh, she's so good. Okay, and that's just the cannon. Ah, uh, Tamara cannot reach. It'd be so nice if we could take that two damage off. Hmm, I'm just trying to think what's the best option here. We can't actually move to heal or anything because we have to keep in this formation for Bonded Shield to keep working properly. Retribution is due. Oh, Panette. 26 damage without the Ike bonus. Oh no, and I just pressed Bonded Shield on Panette. Alright, on Merin. We might have to do without the fog. Uh, this ha he has to die now. He has to die now. Glad I can rely on you. Panette has to crit him here and kill him, or she dies. Okay, wait. Freezing those guys in place is pretty nice, but uh, yeah, you have to die now. What are our odds? Ninety-five percent. She's missed some of these. Please, Pedet. The thing is, she might just die anyway now. I don't play nice. But by whoever comes in that gap. Panette might suffer from success if she, like, crits a few people. Hopefully, best case scenario, a great knight moves in, doesn't kill her, she can't kill him, and then it's next turn. Yeah, it depends. If Marnie moves first, we are in so much trouble. That's more strength. And the Brave Lance, Tamara's Brave Lance. Will we survive to actually use it? Oh, and is that Wolf Knight? Oh no, that guy's going to murder her because he's going to do 16 now. Reposition? No, we can't reach for reposition. We can bait him to maybe go for Tamara instead. Ah, uh, Panette's dead, I think. Because now the wolf... The thing is, she'll get vantage, but now that other wolf knight will wreck her. No, and she's suffering from success. No, but that you're too good. Okay, he actually went for Tamara. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you, stupid AI. Will Panette survive? Will Panette survive? Oh, imagine if we lose Pedro and Panette. No, no, stop having people she can kill. Back off. Okay, it's actually fine as long as dual guard procs or bonded shield even, which is what, 
Don't be Marnie. Don't be Marnie. Anyone but Marnie. Just someone get in and not die. Or I put her into vantage range and let her slaughter. Okay, she is actually killing them all. She's doing connect things. But the problem is Marnie's going to come in, blazing sword, blazing lion, and just one-shot her. <laughs> My girl doing what she does best. Bonded shield carry. I mean, it's an 80% proc. It's going to fail eventually. But for now, it's very, very cool. I know it doesn't work on uh, Blazing Lion. Oh, here we go. Is it going to do enough? This animation is really cool, honestly. The Marnie animation. Come on, Panette. Live, 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 live. 24. Wait, is she on one health? <laughs> She's on one health! Yes! Yes! Oh my goodness! She's on one health! And the fire- wait, does fire kill? No, fire can't kill! Oh my heart! One health! <laughs> the net gaming! But now she's stuck in the fire, so she's not actually, like, completely in this clear yet. Oh my goodness! Oh, and Ivy takes her down to hold out, which is awesome. So the problem with, um... Roy, is we have to kill Marnie six times, effectively. But the fact that Ivy can hit like that, we can probably do it. I think we've actually got this now. Oh my goodness. But no one else is going to be able to damage Marnie, so we need to be very careful with just repeatedly dancing for Ivy. Which we can do with counter. What was the scream? I fell asleep. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry anyone listening with headphones. Uh, Panette survived on one HP from Blazing Lion after multiple 80% procs worked for Bonded Shield. Oh, do I have? I used it. Oh no. We're not out of the woods yet then. No, we... Oh wait. This is actually kind of bad. Yeah, I did use it. Should have survived on zero HP. It's over. Shut up, dude. <laughs> she should not have survived on one HP. Connect gaming. Yeah, we used Goddess Dance, I think. Or can you can you only see it when someone's? Oh no, we haven't used it. We haven't used it. We haven't used it. Okay, okay. We're still gaming. <laughs> We're still in it to win it. I mean, we don't really need to debuff her, but we might need to debuff her if someone else, but Ivy can do it. Five range L Thunder, go, go, go. Oh yeah, I could have done that, but... I'm in your I mean, I might do that if it's a kill, just to give him XP. Half your bonus XP. Merin, strength, magic, luck, okay. The enemy units on this map were surprising a step up on the previous ones. Yeah, they're... Oh, what does she get from this again? The Binding Blade. She swaps to the Binding Blade? That's so unfair. Well, it's not unfair, but like... Oh, no. She better not... If she can one-round Ivy with it, we're screwed. I don't think she can. Okay, thank goodness. I'm just mentally figuring out how we do this. We need to be here. I still can't believe Panette lived on one health. Who needs holdout when she has holdout naturally? I'll help. Not done yet. Yeah, the Binding Blade. One of the strongest weapons in the entire series, in, in my opinion. Relative to, like, the games that they're in. It's just a shame Roy only gets it for, like, two chapters. Right, here we go. We still have Cantor on Alea. I'm going to take Cantor off Alea soon. I think I'll replace it with Holdout. In. Old man, please carry the run. You we'll we'll check point. Linden's damage. We'll check Linden's damage. But I would also quite like to just end this. I can't, like, oh, that's where Ivy goes. But that's okay, because it's the last health bar. Okay, let's have a look. But oh, he can't elf. Oh, he can't actually reach unless we get him right in, maybe? 
Nah, he he can't reach her. So let's just let's not be goofy with it. And then we'll we'll have a little peek if we can't get like a tiny bit of XP on someone else. <laughs> he looks so stupid doing the dance. Old man gaming. At least Roy's endgame weapon is actually good, unless unlike the memes that are the FD7 endgame weapons, the Soul Catty is one of the best weapons in the series, mate. What do you mean? Soul Catty is peak. Yes. <laughs> I'm just being triple sure. I'm glad that we've got it's it's actually kind of funny that we have Ivy, because Ivy's the one that doesn't face any crit chance, ironically, because of her engrave. The worst pref is Sanaki's pref. That is pretty bad. I'm trying to think. What what are the actual worst worst? The rapiers are all pretty good. Wait, let's just make sure we have 100% crit rate before we do anything else. Yeah, 100% hit rate. Oh, we did it. Oh, we actually did it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I was <laughs> very, very worried for a lot of that. My goodness. Wow, 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 wow. Can we even get any XP? Maybe the rapier. Oh no, this is this is Lynn. I don't know why I thought that was Erica. Uh... Oh, we could get some. We could do some hort gaming. Why not? Learn that one from you, the Bulgan Odin Grave. Yeah, it's it's peak. It fixes one of Ivy's only two issues. Her two issues are getting crit and her lackluster speed. I was here, I saw Panette 1 HP survival. Madness. Madness. I would have been so... If I'd lost both Panette and Pandreo, I would have been so upset. Like, actually so upset. Ooh. Maybe with more momentum. Nah, it's only like one point more. I don't really know why I'm doing this, just for funsies. The 1% 24 crit, here it comes. <laughs> Both siblings dying, yeah, I know. I, it's so bad that we lost Pandreo, though. He's our main powerhouse. Our main magical powerhouse, anyway. It's even more reason to uh, funnel Ivy. I think for sure I'm now going to do Roy Panorog. I'm going to get an Excalibur and see if either Ivy or Linden, preferably Linden, can one-shot all the wyverns with it, give them vantage, and just blast them. All right, let's end this. Oh my goodness. I have never had this chapter go that way, ever, ever. This was completely new to me. End it with a crit, Panette, 100%. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Wow. He's actually not bad. Yeah, Linden's good. Linden's definitely good. I don't think he's Pandreo level, but he's good. And we'll we'll meme with him. He's a fun unit to meme with. I mean, he already has Wrath Vantage, so <laughs> we are already memeing with him. Woo. Okay, so now we are now officially the furthest I've ever gotten in a Maddening No DLC Iron Man. This is it. Rings. I have never gotten this far before. You can see, you can see the other ones in the save files. <laughs> He's got some nice crit tech. Yeah, absolutely. The thing with Linden is his base strength is actually pretty good. So you can even put him in a physical class. Like you can put him in any class you like, really. I only stayed with Sage because um, I left shenanigans with plus three range. But the thing is, looking at it, that L Surge really isn't that amazing. Oh, silvers. Let's go. Hurricane okay, Axe Congrats. Well played. Thank you. Uh, I don't know if it was well played. Uh, it was very, very scuffed and very, very lucky on Panette. But we did it. Yeah. We did it. We got there. What chapter's next? Is it Gris's chapter? Is it Gris' chapter or is it a different one? Let's chill out in the Somniel for a minute. See our dogs. <laughs> I need to calm down a bit. Oh.
The good thing is now we have Roy, so now we have Holdout. So now Panette can actually live a little more. I find more usage for Draconic Hex, debuffing, and strong chip. What, on Linden? I can see that. Draconic Hex is busted. <laughs> I love Draconic Hex. Come on, give us even more silver to play with. Mm, steel, which isn't bad. Silver, A. Eh? And a silver, let's go. Okay. We have a lot of silver. We might even be able to give Meryn the boost that she so sorely needs. Illume Makaya to light up the whole map, turn one strats. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's how you deal with Gris Chapter for sure. Makaya just makes... Oh my goodness, we got another crazy... Rescue! Rescue! Yes, that's what I've been rolling for. We finally have a rescue again, which on an Iron Man is, you know, so needed. So needed. I'm still... I'm shouting and doing, like, the whole, like, meme tuber stuff. I need to stop. I'm just still very excited from that chapter. I need to calm down a little. Ah... Uh... No, we want an Excalibur, potentially. Oh, that works. Yeah, that works. Let's keep on the four stars if we can afford them. Engage doesn't have Gacha? I know. True, actually. That's a good point. I'm always like, when people go, oh, Engage, that stupid Gacha game. I'm like, it doesn't have Gacha, bro. You don't do the Bond Rings. But the well is pretty... You actually survived Chapter 19? I did, other than losing Pandreo. And Panette, I still can't believe that. One health. One health out of her, like, 61 health when she's got Ike on her. I see Speedwings is playing that stupid gacha game again. Oh, no. It came in at the worst possible moment. The worst possible moment. Yes, I am playing the stupid Panette, gacha game. Soldier of Solm. No holding back. But yeah, Panette, one health. She really is best girl. So sorry. Are you injured? Oh, so yeah. What well, so is it is it Gris chapter next? He missed all the fun. Oh, yeah, I know. Up. Like <laughs> Mangs comes in when we're in the Somnial doing boring we're arena stuff and misses the Prepare like yourself. complete hype of the end of chapter nineteen. <laughs> oh well. Oh, okay, Baron. So sorry. Are you in? Now, something that is very good about modded engage is you can just press a button and it just skips all of this. HP strength build. Cool. I don't think she really needs build, but strength is nice. All right. The bonded shield enemy phasing was so intense. I know. Uh, the the thing is, bonded shield is incredibly strong. Is it Gris chapter next, bro? There's like 500 Maybe Gris chapters. <laughs> I mean, service. Gris's exclusive chapter. Please but yes, true. true, 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 true. <laughs> Max missed peak speed win gameplay. It's over. True, actually. To be fair, if I had to point out any kind of how to handle engage, uh, like at an intense level. It was probably that, to be honest. That was pretty wild. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so now we can get hold out. So let's do it. So what does she need? So when does the super exciting engage gameplay that I hear about? Shut up! You, you, we just did like an hour and a half chapter where it was nail biting to the very like limit throughout the entire thing. Yes, there is some, you know, map preps that we'd have to do now, but it is what it is, you know. Yeah, bonded shield when it's a hundred percent is insanely broken. Bonded shield when it's eighty percent like that is uh pretty dubious <laughs> i'm not gonna lie mang strongest engage hater i mean he's dug himself in a hole now he has to engage it it's on uh it, engage it he has to hate it it's on brand it's part of his brand now and then when the next game comes out and it's utter dog shit we'll see the mang's videos of was i too harsh on engage <laughs> i'm predicting it now all right there we go hold out plus i am panette yourself the next game which focuses purely Son on story and characters Marcus and it'll be like oh i just Prepare wish there was a more gameplay focused game no the cycle yes. 10 reasons why engage was actually amazing so true <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Are you injured? Uh, 
Uh, can't wait for the legit genealogy remake flop. Look, I would love a genealogy remake to be good. I just have such little faith in it actually being good. All right. Let's complete the Millennium Puzzle of Panette being completely busted. So she needs 1,400. Hopefully we have enough for that. And then our girl will be unstoppable. Yes, we do. Perfect. Next Effie game is going to be a complete remake of Effie 4 down to every last bothersome game mechanic, including slow animations, huge maps, and horrendous gameplay. So everyone go see, good story doesn't carry a game. Elitus will be in shambles. If they do do that, I do do. If they do that, I'm going to have unlimited content for at least a month, and it will be wonderful. And I will be obnoxiously, I told you so about it, and it will be great. But I will be very sad. Look, I mean, I would love an FE4 remake with updated mechanics and quality of life. I think that's that would be the ideal. I think that's so much better than Faithful. People are going to be mad no matter what. Like, if it's Faithful, unlimited content for a month. <laughs> oh yeah, true, not really unlimited, but I'll get to do a lot of, um, you know. All right, here we go. 20% health, Vantage, Wrath, she's got the lot. She's finished it off. Um, we can't really do anything else. We'll look at Forge and then we'll go. The next Effie game going to be Japanese only. The amount of comments I've seen of people saying stuff like that. They're like, oh, intelligent systems understand that Fire Emblem is dead now, so we're not going to get another game. It's like, really? A game didn't even sell poorly, realistically. It just didn't sell the same as Free Houses, which nothing else has sold the same as Free Houses, you know? Hmm. Engage sold fine realistically it's if the next game also like is even less which it will be if it's an fe4 remake that's when they might start being concerned you know the shareholders and all that nonsense so what did i say i was gonna do here i think it was merin we were gonna buff merin a bit uh wait we didn't get any gold from that chapter 26 gold Fire Emblem is dead. Japanese only series. Trust the fan. Yeah. A Japanese only game might be good once we get a translation patch. This is the most Japanese game. Here. This is Japanese Fire Emblem. Engage. Like, full of all their anime tropes and stuff. Like, I don't know about that one. Well, if you hey. don't like Engage, but you think you want a Japanese only game, it would just be more Engage. It would probably be even more intense than Engage, honestly. Like, how far they go with it. Okay, stilettos, we can get rid of that. We can get rid of that. We don't need these forons anymore. We might want that foron for someone. Okay, that's 6k. That's enough. Take that's it. enough to play around with a little bit. Never mind, I hate Japan now. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, mm. Alchris doing the little dive and all that. That's peak Japanese humor. They love that sort of thing. There would be a lot more of that in a Japanese-only game nowadays. Oh, do we do the Tamera memes? I think our girl deserves it. And by our girl, I mean the character I slag off repeatedly. <laughs> oh, we're doing Tamera memes. Wonderful. Because I'm, I'm not very impressed with Linden at the moment. I think Linden needs uh, Roy Chapter training. So we will give him him back later. But for now... Tamera memes, yes. The best unit in the world, according to that iced coffee guy. Oh, for God's sake, we don't have enough. Um, I'll be here. Oh, Somniel. You are so much better than the monastery, but still pretty crap. All right, there we go. Runs dead. Tomorrow's Tamera's awful. Tamera gets favoritism, we lost. The, re the the fact that you guys hate on Tamera so much is what makes me want to use her more. I hope you understand that. <laughs> Sigurd Paralog next. Oh, we could do that. Yeah, yeah, why not, actually? I don't really feel like doing another, like, humongous chapter. Although Sigurd chapter is quite long. Uh, we could. We'll take a look at it. Yes, yes. Hmm. Tamara memes, my beloved. I'll be what here. could possibly go wrong? Okay. <laughs> Tamara. Here you go. How much does it weigh her down? Probably like an obscene amount. Yeah, quite a lot. 
Chat, your hate fuels my love for this. Hey, we did chat's unit. We did Saline, okay? And it was very good and very funny. But now it's... Well, I don't want Tamera to be my unit, though, actually. What am I saying? Panette is my unit. If I have to, uh, you know, favoritism anyone, it's probably her, right? Let's take a look at Sigurd's Paralogue. I can't remember what the levels for it are, but it's actually reasonably low. Weirdly, considering it's one of the later ones you get. Okay, let's have a look. I want to do this chapter so badly, but we need to have more levels. The Roy chapter is just a XP bonanza. Yeah, place of significance to emblem Sigurd. Here we go, FE4 remake! Here's the leak, guys. So I am starting to believe more and more and more and more that the so-called FE4 leak was someone just seeing this chapter or just seeing Sigurd. Because when, when Engage was leaked... <clears throat> There's something... When Engage was leaked, they didn't place. know anything about Emblem Rings or returning characters or anything like that. So it's very possible the person just saw Sigurd, maybe a screenshot of this chapter, and was like, oh, they're doing FE4 remake as well. And if that's the case, that is kind of funny. Oh boy. This chapter is kind of spooky. You can lure Sigurd out, and we will. Oh yeah, check this out. <laughs> They're here as well. Yay. And we actually kind of want to kill them. For the gold, because we don't have any gold. So how this chapter works, right, is it's similar-ish to the actual chapter in FE4. You claim this fort. If you get this fort, drawbridge comes down humongous tidal wave of reinforcements get you. However, if you do not hit these guys, the drawbridge does not drop. And you can kind of cheese some of these guys with flyers, which we will definitely do. However, cheesing them involves uh, taking Lucina away from Meren and putting it on a flyer. Where's Hortensia? There she is. Oh, we have Micaiah now. I can do oh, this. it's so good on Hortensia to not. We can't not do that. Um. Oh, Lapis is back in action. Maybe Lapis can have a uh, Corin, but uh, not Corin, Lucina. Lucina. For what we're planning on doing. Let's make sure the unit selection's got who we want. Okay, this actually kind of works. Lapis Chad, you're so back. You're so back <laughs> for now. Ah, oh, sadly, God Mary doesn't have her beloved Sigurd, which is very sad, actually. <laughs> with Roy, we, the funny so thing about Roy. Roy is when you engage with Roy, you can see what your level ups are going to be because level ups are locked and he gives you five extra levels. So we, we can see into the future and see if Meryn actually gets strength or not, which is kind of funny. We'll know whether we're going to use her longer term. I mean, she's always going to be useful for Lucina. Okay. So Ivy has 22 speed. That's not enough. Rosado is speed taker. So what, what I'm looking for here is I'm looking for us to move up before we open the drawbridge. Lucina chain bonded shield with flyers to take out some of these mages and to lure Sigurd off this. If you lure Sigurd off this, he'll walk down and then he'll override ahead of the wave. FE4 remake, but Sigurd marries the avatar. Look, if they put an avatar in, they'll put an avatar in. And that will also be unlimited content for me to mess around with. So in terms of the channel, it'll be great if there's an FE4 avatar. In terms of me personally, I'll be not very happy about it. <laughs> okay, I think we're pretty much good to go. Let's just put some of these guys in the back. Who need to be in the back? This could be an opportunity to give Lyndon some XP as well. Oh, do we want Irika on Tamara instead? I think we definitely do, right? Erica, Erica, I don't know why I always swap how Erica. I say that. 
Oh, and you can have the good magic ring. Where is it? Oh, I swear there was a good magic ring. Never mind, you can just have a Zell. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Sigurd with 13 moves, let's go. Yeah, he comes down, he overrides you, but that's actually not so bad. If you can make sure he overrides you before the ridiculous Sigurd, wave we'll of reinforcements. If we can capture that fortress, we yep. Oh, by the way, for the like one person that might not know this, there is a goddess icon right here. <laughs> so we'll go and get it. And we get the nice FE4 music. Again, this might be another thing the leaker heard. The leaker heard FE4 music and thought, oh, they're working on an FE4. Ooh, these guys are bulky. Level eight. Okay. Ba -ba -da. Ciao. Ciao. I don't think I've ever heard her say that. Oh, wow. Look how good this Tamara meme was. This was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, are you going to fight fight Julius and Ishtar? Probably, yeah. Because if, if you clear these guys out, but don't touch these guys, you can actually uh, fight them, because it will be only them. And we could use the gold. How cute am I? The problem is, again, it's heroes. Heroes are some of the scariest enemies in this game. Hmm. Okay, well, let's just start. Actually, can Gold Mary reach? With perfect poise. The problem is, now she doesn't have any of her fun toys like Momentum. Okay, she can. 21. Ivy can probably soften him up. If we can clear this guy out right away, that'd be awesome. Please look at the Triangle of Depth passive. Yeah, tri Triangle of Depth is obscene. I wish we got Triangle Adept. When unit has weapon advantage, always follows up. When unit has disadvantage, foe always follows up. I mean, it's kind of nice when you abuse it. Well, not abuse it, but like, you know, play the game properly and actually like, look at it. This is an FE4, too few mounted units. So true. Oh, Gold Mary. Who's going to replace Pandro? That Levin Sword and Tome are too good. They really are. We could turn someone into a Mage Knight. Mage Knight Linden Gaming, perhaps? I don't know. Yeah, no, that's true, actually. We do have the crazy Levin Sword just sat. Maybe we'll pick it up and put it on Ivy, uh, Alir, just for now. This actually kind of sucks. Right? Gonna, this isn't wonderful. Uh, Are you taking notes? No, I'm not taking notes. Again, he do does. Does does Elfunder not have the capacity to crit? Crit ten. Weird. I guess he's got thirteen dodge. Hmm. The problem is that sniper. All right. I think I might have been a bit eyes bigger than my stomach here, rushing up on the first turn. Ooh, okay, that's not good. We have to deal with this guy now. Quadruple hit. Why are you so bad? Uh. Yeah, this guy has got to go now. Please hit. If he, this doesn't hit, this is actually pretty bad. <laughs> I guess we could dance. Hopefully, oh, Sidar reaches. Mage Knight Boone. <laughs> Imagine if you lose all the items your dead unit had. I mean, that would be horrific in this game. There's some games where it works, I think, to do that. But engage, that'd be terrible. Imagine you've got your, like, plus five silver weapon or something, and you just lose it because someone died. It's not worth thinking about. Wait, that Sage better not hit. Okay, good, it's the hero. <clears throat> Oh, excuse me. I think I lost my voice a bit from all that shouting I did at the end of the last chapter. <laughs> okay, you have Canter, so you can... Wow, hit and run for eight. Thank you, Lapis. 
I guess we can put a layer here for bonuses. Turn one goddess dance? Yeah, it could have been. I mean, I need to be better at uh, just using the goddess dance. Because the thing is, you get all these recharge points. So you may as well be using your uh, bonuses. Oh, she actually does more than uh, Lapis just because of uh, Arika. Tanat being incredibly based as always. I'm sorry you had to see that. So what is this slightly dark thing? Is there a tome? Freeze. Okay, we got to be a little aware. Not tome staff. Got a little aware of that, but that's fine. <clears throat> I think we have a restore, but it's in the combo. Where to? This will be a much easier once we've got our death ball going. Once everyone's actually Come caught up. Me. You can use them if you can tank a meteor to the face. Oh, true. Yeah, the meteors on this chapter. Another thing that I'd like. Oh, fracture. Okay. Ooh! Yeah. Ow! I don't play nice. Thank you, Panette. My goodness! 23, My goodness. 23! How awful! I was only gone for an hour. Why is Pandreo dead? He got crit. He got crit. I didn't think about his uh, four on with crit avoids. Okay, so let's turn this off for now and let's get the meteors marked. Like, we can deal with the meteors. I don't think there's any more down here. I think it's just that one down here and then there's a couple up here. Meteor. So, what I'm hoping to do is to clear some of these Meteor guys out. But it'll be a while until we get to that point. It's kind of spooky. This is kind of spooky. Sadly, Pandreo is a really good way of dealing with these guys because he had so much uh, res. Ow. <laughs> Have I bitten off too much? To, I, uh, have I bitten off more than I can chew with this chapter, Fine perhaps? By me. Dear. Oh yeah, let's have a look at how many stats she gets. So that puts her up to 20. Okay, so she gets two strength from the next five levels. That's actually better than she's been leveling up so far. Hmm. I guess this isn't so bad. Oh, we're using the steel dagger. Oops, she probably killed no, with the silver. Oh. oh, she could just crit. Thank you, Meryn. But... I think we can work very well together. Saving me. Man, the amount of voice lines that they have. Like, how many voice lines did they record? How much of the budget went on that? Because they have different voice lines for each character that they're engaged with. Okay, this is actually good. Let's have some fun. Yeah, that 8% crit might Serves have been the 9% missing here, which wouldn't have been wonderful. However, we have holdout now, so things are a little safer with her. We can afford to kind of shove her in people's faces a little. I might Astra Storm someone here. There's too many units for my liking. This guy, I think. Now I have now. I cannot retreat. Very nice. What are the extra skills, the enemies? So once the enemies reach a certain point, they start getting... Not only do they get class skills, but they also get... Uh, and none of these ones have it. But some of them do have like enemy-only skills. 
Oh yeah, this this isn't Brave Attack, is it? Brave Assist. Oh no, it is Brave Assist. Huh. But it's like an enemy version of Brave Assist. Oh, none of these guys actually have it. Oh yeah, here we go. So, for example, this guy has Seal Resistance. Oh, on Mad so on Hard, do they not get the uh, class skills? Oh, I'm losing my voice a bit. I shouldn't have shouted so much. <laughs> I was I was too excited. This is probably fine because she has hold out anyway, so that's okay. That's all good. This is also also all good. So we just need to move these guys out and just let these guys deal with all this mess. Now I will send the flyers up at some point, but I kind of want them for now. So not yet. Actually, we should heal with Linden whenever we can, because healing with Linden is just free XP for him and he needs it more. Not that he gets that much from it, my goodness. All right. Have these guys come in. Panette, kill. No doubling yet. We need to get his speed taker going. I think his Kigetsu is pretty fast, but he needs speed taker to just push him over the edge into doubling some of these faster enemies. Oh, don't fracture Panette. Okay, good. Ah, oh, he's freezing instead of attacking. Lame. And that hero doesn't want to move. Okay, that's fine. This just means we can feed some kills instead. This is fine. Ha, huh, the rare see Dao attacking, maybe. Oh, we can just do this, maybe. Oh, no, we don't want to... Oh, I've placed this wrong. Yeah, I did this wrong. Oops. And it's uh, Merrin standing next to him. Oh, no, it's Merrin's, Merrin's fine because she doesn't get back up naturally, right? Oh, no, she hasn't got Lucina. What am I talking about? I'm rambling. I've lost my mind a bit after that chapter, I think. <laughs> Lapis's time to shine. Chipping for the old man. I forgot how player face this game was since most of my guys had canter. Oh yeah, this is a entirely player phase game for the well not entirely, but like this is a very much a player phase game. I mean the last chapter wasn't so much, but that's just because of the pure waves they chuck at you. But in general I'd say this is a player phase game, yeah. If you enemy phase more than one or two units, you're probably gonna die. I actually kind of prefer it that way. Uh I think it's more interactive for you to be making moves on player phase and them to matter. Oh, well, that's all right. It gives some wrath. Although he could have got crit. <laughs> Whereas enemy phase, you just kind of, what, get your bulky unit, put them on a fort, press end turn. I mean, it's fun, but I don't know if it's as fun as actively making decisions. Luckily, you're not triggering the enemies next to the castle. Most, if not all, aggro you. Really? I'm not... This is another map that I'm not overly familiar with. I've only done this one a couple of times. If we weren't doing an Iron Man... The thing is, when I went into this, I thought I would barely be doing any. Because I thought, oh, well, it's an Iron Man, and each one I do is a risk of people dying. But I'm actually kind of... Oh, that's Recover, not Restore. I'm a numpty. Uh, I ended up kind of doing them all, or I am doing them all, because the XP and the stuff is more worth it. Peak GBA gameplay, avoid stacking, yeah, true. It's like, ah, oh, look at how skilled this is. I've got my Pegasus, and they can't be hit by anyone. I've hit the threshold, you know, it's like, okay. I thought I had a restore. Do I not have a restore? Am I blind? Where's my restore? Hello? Restore? I didn't put the restore in the well or something stupid. Or maybe Ivy has it. You have the restore. You do. Okay, that was all for nothing. Fnat, kill. <laughs> Although now that she's healed, she probably won't, actually. Right away. I mean, she has hold out, but... Yeah. I don't know about this, Chief. 
without the um, mage, it's probably actually fine. Is this good? Probably not. Let's just chill, let's just back. chill. Once this hero's out the way, I'll feel a lot happier. Although there's another one in the bottom left. Ow. Amazing they buff restore to one of three stars instead of one. True. Oh, she gets broken anyway. I've lost my mind. Wait. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, holdout still activates and you're broken anyway, I think. I'm stupid. What am I doing? I think I lost my mind after that last chapter. <laughs> she kills. 4% chance, but then she has holdout. See, this is why I hold out. It's not necessary for Panat memes, but it makes them a lot more comfortable. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! 18. Resolve plus, now we're talking. Plus 7 defense and res. Even safer. Uh, we can do this in counter away. Oh, rare moment where... Uh, Wait, no, this isn't a covert unit. He's just super dodgy. Never mind. I was going to say rare moment that Mystical might be useful, but... I'm just talking a load of nonsense. Right. Rosado, maybe? We need to feed Rosado XP. We haven't done a very good job at that, honestly. This theme is very good. That, that's something that I am very excited for if they do an FE4 remake is uh, all the remastered music. It'd be really cool. You have my respect. Okay, no kill for Rosado. Tamara refuses. Uh, might actually heal a little bit here just so we get back into holdout range uh, with an actual heal. Would be good. Oh, my back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my back. I'm old. I'm old. Oh, he's just like me, for Give real. I mean, we may as well do this, seeing as it's the last turn. But we can. Uh, it's a little dull, the start of this map. But, hey, it is an FE4 map after all. <laughs> oh. Now, Hortensia can probably pull one of these guys in. We'll see how I have Elf under. Mm, she can't quite reach, but... <laughs> I'm old. I can't wait for Doorway of Destiny Remake. That one's my favorite. I mean, there's so many bangers. Even just the... Um, just the enemy theme and stuff would be awesome. Enemy phase. Okay, here we go. Step on up, enemies. Defeated. Right, we probably don't need the rangers on quite so much now. So, as long as we don't step in this meteor range, we'll be able to deal with Julius and Ishtar. Hopefully. I mean... Is it even a good idea? I guess we could freeze one of them, and it might be okay. Or silence. Oh yeah, we could silence one of them, and that would make it very doable, I think. Ow. Yeah, without the Roy bonuses, she kind of uh, ain't quite as hot. Uh, hmm. Panette, kill. Is due. Ooh. That kicks her out of holdout, but I guess we could always visit her. I'll beat you to a pulse. You take one of them, not both. Yeah, that's I'm it. Yeah, I think if we're to going to do deal with them, we have to, like, freeze or silence one of them. Which we can definitely do. We have, like, three freeze staffs. Uh, well, like, two and a half. I hope this was actually a good idea. I forget that Kigetsu doesn't have speed taker built up yet. <sighs> Hit rate's not wonderful. Uh, maybe we'll debuff to get some speed taker on him. Just be careful, Marin doesn't die to that elf under at the top. I like how they do have, you know, 
Julius and Ishtar, and they are absolutely horrifying. 64 magic attack, 30 speed. He's got cap speed, health, defense, res. Oh. Uh... Oh yeah, I said I was going to do this with speed taker, didn't I? Very nice. I mean, with enough speed taker, we're actually going to outspeed um, him, which is good. Because no one else is going to. No one else is even going to come close to it. Wow, all it takes is someone to be holding a uh, elf under for a little to double them. Very nice. I'm very keen to get hold out on a Leer as well. Gotta go to work. Enjoy. I hope you have a good day or whatever. Good, a good day or whatever. What am I saying? A good shift. A good shift. My brain's melted. <laughs> My brain is gone. I'm in Goo Goo Gaga land now. Right, Rosado is another person that we need to be building up speed taker on so he can actually kill things. That's the problem. I want to feed him XP, but I never really have the opportunity to because he can never kill anything. Mm. Oh, you don't even have a weapon. Oh, that's okay then. Depends what order they move here. If this guy goes first, takes her down below holdout, the sage could actually kill her, which is kind of worrying. Can Rosado counter back far enough for a kill? I think for a dance even. One, two. Yeah, he can. I don't think he even does enough in two hits. He doesn't. I guess he would with this, maybe? Yeah, now he does. Chapter 19 really broke you high. It doesn't take much, to be honest, mate. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but yeah, it did a bit. It did a bit. I'm excited what this Lapis can do if she is 2010 at the moment. She can't do much. This is a, such a cursed Lapis. And she's not, she's not 2010. She's 10-10. Uh, I, I don't, I, I, I promote people as soon as possible, and I'm pretty sure we promoted Lapis at level 10. And uh, she just hasn't leveled up strength, ever. Which is very sad. I'd be a lot happier if she had leveled some strength. Nah. We can go there anyway, so it's fine. But yeah, I mean, I would love to have shown off like a fantastic Lapis, because Lapis can be really, really good. I've looked forward to this day. It's just, unfortunately, this Lapis isn't very good. It happens, you know? It's just what happens with random growths. HP, defense, res, luck, build. Build is good. A little more build, and we'll put Roy permanently on Rosado. And that'll be amazing, because plus five levels on Rosado, who has insane growths, that'll go very far. Your orders... <laughs> Your orders? I'm old. Build him Rosado? Yeah, I, it's awesome when you get get it. I mean, that's Rosado's biggest weakness, is shaky build. Very shaky build. The thing is, I just... I, I don't know how suited for an Iron Man Rosado really is, but while we've got room to deploy him, we may as well. And we may as well try and give him levels while we can. Because he does turn out really really well. It just requires time and XP. Oh, she was broken. Oh, the fracture staff. I didn't even factor that in. Thank goodness for holdout, eh? <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> the fanboy needs to be thick. Thicker. I mean, he can barely lift the axe that he uses. All right. Yeah, see, this is what I'm saying about poor Lapis. She doesn't even double things, which is kind of her like whole point. This is a very, very cursed Lapis. That's why she was, she's kind of bench meat, sadly, at this point. 
I mean, we could possibly salvage her by putting her into warrior, but do we really need a third warrior? And we have Saphir in the wings, I don't know. We could also give her, uh, like, strength from Roy, but again, do we really need to do that? Ooh, another Rosado. Maybe. Make sure he doesn't get hit by that mage if we can't deal with that mage. Wow, this guy's so dodgy. This is with the super hit axe. I don't want to sacrifice anyone. More speed taker? 27 now, that's actually really good. That's really good. I mean, if we can get enough, Rosado might be able to double some of these guys. Should be awesome. I don't know how much the Tomahawk weighs him down though, sadly. As much as I'd love to, we can't. Uh, as much as I love to, we cannot. Oh yeah, you need to be healed, my friend. Uh, let's get her an actual healing staff, shall we? <laughs> treats. I find you never buy men's because you just always have treats. If you're using the well, you know. Boom. Depends really. Lapis can catch up if you're going to go to Makaya XP, heal her. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we could start doing that. The thing is, the, the thing with our Lapis is she's not behind on levels. She's behind on stats. She's very cursed. She's leveled up pretty poorly, honestly. Unfortunately. So I don't know if giving her more levels even really fixes it. Because she'll 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 hit the point. How much is holdout plus again? 20%. Yeah, good. I mean, cause like more levels will just She's gonna start slowing down on the amount of XP she gets. She's actually one of our highest level units, unfortunately. Thank you, holdout. Another good thing about Holdout is you can bait with it. You can bait the AI sometimes. Now, the AI doesn't always fall for the bait. But quite often it does. Which is funny. Right, let's debuff this hero. I should probably uh, buff this Leaven Sword a bit. It's not that expensive. Oh, oh, Merin can just have Pandreo's Leaven Sword. There we go. There's someone that can use it and probably use it pretty well. It has a use. She needs momentum so badly. However, we can actually... Um, that's kind of funny. Gold Mary doubles him because of his ability. Yeah, and then Linden can kill with Bell Thunder. Nice. Here they all come. Yeah. It's alright. We're playing this very safely and very slowly. But, I mean... It's a nice cooldown after the last chapter. Ooh, he can miss that, but we do have dance. Very well. Okay. Did Alir hit a speed threshold? She wasn't doubling anyone. Oh no, it's just Elf Thunders. <laughs> Never mind. I got excited there. Because Alir hasn't really been doubling anyone for a while. Dream she well. fell off from her insane early game hat carry, but, you know, that happens. HP, strength, magic, dex, speed, res. She doesn't want to fall off. My goodness. She's leveled strength like three times now. That's awesome. That's really good, actually. Because if Alir can stay being somewhat relevant, that's always nice. You know, seeing as you have to use her. I mean, I'm definitely going to go down the road of uh, hold out and more avoid when we get Marth back and I just have her lose. hopefully not die to things. I mean, then a Physic? It's for 43% though. I mean, I don't know. 
But then Rosado can finish off. Yeah. Oh no, but then Rosado gets sniped. What am I talking about? Hmm. It's an L Thunder, so we can't even do too many shenanigans with it. How about we just longbow it? Like so. Do some healing on Alia as well. Back from pool, anything happen? Uh, when did you leave? I mean, if you left at uh, the start of this chapter, we haven't really done much. Just slowly moving up. In classic FE4 fashion. Being slowed through the woods for no apparent reason. <laughs> I hope if they do remake FE4, they remove some of the woods. Hello, hello. Left at the start, yeah, yeah. We're, all we've done is just move up, clear them out. We're about to get into Julius Ishtar territory, which I think we will try and kill them because the gold on them would be nice. How's it going? Good. Uh, we did chapter 19, the very scary chapter. We lost Pandreo, which really sucks. But we actually got past chapter 19, which is a massive win in my books. Panette was left on one health at one point, and this is before we got hold out on her, so that was kind of scary. All right, here we go. A debuffed unit. Brave Lance Gaming. She... Oh, it's so underwhelming. Why did I do this? This was so expensive as well to forge. <laughs> Go on, Tamara. Let's see it. Sandstorm or something to make up for it. Okay. Oh. 63 with a critical from the Brave Lance and a Sandstorm. That's actually not bad. If we can get her enough speed, we might put Speed Taker on her in exchange for reposition, maybe? Yes, I did it. Beat on Maddening. Nice. Congrats, man. Congrats. Being engaged on Maddening isn't the easiest thing by any means. You know, a lot of so-called engage expert YouTubers haven't done it. So, you know, you should feel proud of that. Right. Elfire. There's no... Ah, actually, we've... Alim might be able to reach. I'd love to get Andreo's Leaven Sword onto Meren now that I've remembered that it exists. Engaged devs were best. <laughs> Based making hottest woman a bad unit. I mean, I don't know if Tamara's hottest woman, but uh, she's all right. I quite like Tamara's design. And I guess Aaliyah can have it. Why not? It's just a two range that she might somehow use. Okay, we're getting there. Julius Ishtar is going to be pretty funky, but hopefully with some clever silencing or freezing, it won't be too bad. I hated the final chapter more than chapter 23 or 25. Oh my god. Oh! I let my guard down. I wasn't paying any attention there. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, the no, but like the no one can use I a brave lance in it. People in the kingdom of Soul. Did I just place her in range without even thinking about it and pressed end turn without doing... Uh... Okay, uh, that, is, that is just pure complacency and nothing else. How are we going to get her on here? Oh, I wanted to do Tamara good memes. Oh, well. Iced coffee, bros, it's over. Oh, the skill issue isn't an image. It's actually part of my background. Oops. How are we going to do this? Maybe we could put her under it. <laughs> Let's get her out. I'm, I'm so stupid. That That is a completely pointless death. <laughs> Grab her hat. Nah, that's bad. Let's just put her on top of it. No more subway surfers retention. In between the streams, I'll figure out. I'll, like, minimize them and stuff and make it fit. Yeah, I guess she was just in range, and I just didn't think anything of her. Oops. 
I find it's kind of the problem with having some units that have uh, canter and some units that don't. You look at things and you go, oh, well, I'll be in range, but it doesn't really matter because I'll just canter out next turn. But then you can't. <laughs> I'm trying to set up a kill for Rosado. Ow. Even her hit's just bad. I, I want to... I'm going to check on the, the bot. I suddenly lost interest in the stream. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. My, my attention span. I just... I find myself getting so distracted now. But yeah, I want to go on the bot and see how cursed this Lapis is. Because I think she's pretty cursed. I could also be wrong. Are you ready? Rosado. His XP gains are pretty low as well. Like, his internal level must be pretty bad. Which isn't great for an S unit, I'm not going to lie. Alright, Panak, kill. Just have to make sure that we're never activating this Meteor guy. Because if we activate the Meteor guy, it might actually be Jova. Because the reinforcements on this map, much like the original map, are absolutely horrific. How much speed? 29. Okay. Hopefully we're going to have enough to double the Tomahawk. If we have enough to double those mages with the Tomahawk, we are at smooth sailing. How much does it weigh him down by? Quite a lot, probably. I mean, he doesn't need to double them. He just needs to not be doubled by them for Bonded Shield to work properly. Do you have enough units to take on Julius and Ishtar? Probably. We only lost to Mera, who wasn't really going to do anything to them anyway. Let's be honest with ourselves. Okay, here we go. We got Julius and Ishtar time. Let's get everyone down. Let's get people healed up. Oh, there's Hortensia. I was like, Hortensia's missing. She was not. Just don't kill the Meteor guy until you're ready. Yeah. I mean, I don't think you can kill any of them as far as i remember i think i did this chapter once thinking oh it's just don't seize the castle and then i attacked uh like one of these guys and it triggered it but i could be wrong this was a long time ago i didn't do this chapter in any of my iron man attempts no don't heal him out of wrath although he's not going to damage them anyway they're going to have like max res Okay, so let's figure out what we're going to do here. We're going to need Silence and we're going to need Freeze. I mean, we might not need both of them, but we're going to probably want them. Of course, I put Alir over there. So let's get Freeze on Ivy. And we'll get Silence on Potencia, just because we have less Silences. Huh. <laughs> Ironically enough, we might... Act, well, not ironically, but weirdly enough, we might actually pull them with Hortensia, which is kind of funny. She probably has the most res. Yeah, 34. My goodness. And... Ooh. Do we want Fracture? Fracture could be kind of good just for blasting one of them with Panette. But then Silence is also, also, also super nice. So I think Silence... Because silence is basically like a fracture for the whole enemy, for the whole turn, but you don't get break bonuses with warriors. Let's just move people in. We've got to be very careful not to trigger these other guys. Because if we do, it, it, it's really bad. Alright, so... I just want to make sure that I don't accidentally enter like a staff range or something and that's enough. Does that trigger them moving? Hopefully not, right? So let's think about this. 25 speed. Wow, she actually gets doubled by this guy, unfortunately. But what we could do... 33%. Oh. 33%. I don't... Hmm. 
You can kill the blokes next to him. You can. So, does that mean if the blokes fracture, that's not going to trigger the bridge? Divine Pulse or Tensia for the kill. They don't move. It's not about moving. I'm just worried the bridge comes down. If the bridge comes down, then Sigurd's going to sit here. All the reinforcements are going to come, and we are in a lot of trouble. Because we still need to fly up here and do the Lucina cheese thing to get Sigurd to move down. And then when Sigurd moves down, then we lower the bridge, because then we can uh, override bait him before the, the wave of enemies comes in. They don't trigger the bridge. Okay, I'm going to trust you on this. <laughs> Hopefully, you are correct. Okay. It feels weird pulling with Hortensia, but it's actually fine. Uh, rather than doing that, let's give Karin bonus just because why not? Oh, but then she's a flyer, so there's no point doing a Bane. Uh, we'll get Panet in. Okay. Let's go. Hopefully this isn't a terrible idea. Still does 28 to my <laughs> highest resistance unit. Ooh. Now we can current freeze counter. This is actually a little annoying because they're kind of in a way that they can still hit people. But uh, it is what it is. Okay, that's all right, because we can then canter to the left. I say all right. <laughs> now, if we hit the silence, this is just smooth sailing. If we don't hit the silence, this is a little trickier. So let's do it. Do you get more silence from... Uh, it's more silence. More silence percentage from being closer? No. So there's no reason for us to be right in his face. We get two tries at this with Dance. Potentially even three if we buy effort. Oh, World Tree? Miss. Okay. We'll try again. The World Tree luckily saved us. Oh, I've closed chat. Hello. <laughs> oh, I must have done that a while ago. <laughs> Oops. Uh, like so. Okay, this time she's going to hit for sure, and if not, she'll get Divine Pulse. Divine Pulse! Nice! Divine Pulse value. Okay, now this is good. Now this is good. Now we're pretty golden, honestly. Wow, his stats are so high, she doesn't even get 100% crit. That's kind of funny. It's okay, because she'll have hold out. You looking down on me? Wait, no, what am I even talking about? She doesn't need it because he's silent. <laughs> Hello. Hello, welcome back. HP Dex Defense build. Yeah, I always close the chat whenever I go to um like mess with something on the keyboard. I don't know why. I don't do it on purpose. Oh, maybe we should have done this sooner. Are we actually going to be able to take him out now? I don't think we will, but that's fine. If I may. Oh, a Parthia kill would be amazing here. This could actually be Lapis's ticket to a big chunk of XP, because this guy's 2020. Might want to save that. Bring up the Mexican. Not healing a Lear. Don't need to, right? Oh, it's a four on. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for pointing that out. It's a four on. Would that have killed as well? Yeah, it definitely would. <laughs> I would have lost the run. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. That's a bit sobering. Wow, that is uh, scary. Oh, we can't path here because she doesn't have any Lucina Bond rank. My goodness, I've just completely brain rotted myself from the previous chapter. So what, 59? 
know if physics even going to do enough. I guess we can get a little closer. Oh, it's a four on. Wait, that's actually terrible. I, I kind of silenced the wrong person, really. It's Merrin okay. Barely. Oh my goodness. 58, 18. Just about, but my goodness. Oh, okay. I need to stop messing around quite so much. <laughs> it's not a forum, don't listen to fake propaganda. Come on, if I like got through chapter 19 the way I did and then lost because of um, that, that would have been whole awful. Uh, why did I think that it was a good idea to go for these guys? I guess we're going to have to buy left dance. Uh, let's see if we can't get some value out of it though. I mean, it hurts, but... Tamara's death did a number on you. I mean, Tamara's death was just completely stupid. Like, that was also me just... I, I should... Yeah, I, <laughs> I think after this chapter, we might call the stream. I didn't sleep very well last night. I did think, like, oh, you're going to mess up so badly today. And luckily, I haven't really in the grand scheme of things. Despite a few close calls. Oh no, I need to buy left dance while we're doing. Complacency kills? Absolutely does, yeah. I think all the adrenaline from chapter 19 left my body and uh, complacency replaced it. Okay, we should be okay now, I think. That's how I lost two of my best units in my engaged randomizer. Yeah, I need to go back to playing the engaged randomizer. It's very fun. It's very, very good. I mean, just a modded engage in general is very, very good. Oh, this is a Rosado kill. Nice. Well, kill. Life crystal. Just got to do it in a way that we don't get four on. <laughs> I need to remember this four on. Or we could just kill the four on. Actually, that's probably a better option. Why am I doing this? This guy's fine next turn because he's silenced. Why am I doing it this way round? Oh, HP res. Thank you, S unit, Rosado. Very cool. Yeah, why am I doing it this way round? My, g I, I, uh, I have lost my head. What am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I have no, I have no clue either why I was doing that. I was like, oh, let's take out this. Let's take out Julius. He's so much scarier. But no, he's not. He's silenced. Hopefully, with that, we should be able to now one round with Kigetsu with the debuff. Why are you so bad at hitting things, Lapis? Oh. Gold Mary, maybe? Doesn't reach. We have to do it. Oh. What about the rapier? All for one. All for one. That's guaranteed damage. Nice. Kill off Panet so you win the run. So false. The anti Panet propaganda is unreal. You just don't want to see her succeed. You don't want to accept her supremacy over Amber. I cannot lose. Where's the, like, massive XP that you should get from these guys? Lapis. Yeah, it's level 18. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, I really nearly made a mess of that. Thank you very much, Echo, for saving the run, pretty much, by kind of snapping me back to realizing that I was just being stupid. These guys are not a joke. Like, they're scarier than most endgame enemies. I shouldn't have really been so lax with them. These guys are internal level 12.365 divided by 2. <laughs> Thank you for that. Analysis. Right, so now he can hit again, right? But that's okay because of holdout being broken. No crit, Panette? Really? That's okay. I guess she just wants other people to have XP. It's very generous of her. 
<laughs> no damage. Good graphics, that was close. I mean, it would have been a wild way to lose the run, for sure. Uh, but that's the thing with Engage, like, it's not an easy game, and anyone that suggests it is, like, if you even have, like, one lapse of concentration, things can go south so fast. So, so fast. Astrum in Marv's map is still stronger. Yeah, he's crazy. Arcadea's strongest man. Okay. I'll manage. Now, we might just need to heal Panette and use Panette here because I feel like he's going to one round most people. He gets to actually might be okay with the speed taker he's built up. Yes, he is, but his hit rate isn't the best, but it's all right. Oh, can he is strongest man, dies to a random thief. <laughs> yeah, they, they hated Ashram. Torrential rain, yeah, that's something we could have also done. But I think this is fine, yeah. As long as he doesn't have crit chance, we can just do whatever we like. I should stop, like, after Pandreo, I've got to be a lot more careful about crit chances. Okay, we did it! We, well, I say we did it. We did the first part of three phases. <laughs> Let's get her back up. It would have fixed your hit rates. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's true. So, these guys are just going to chill for now. We're just going to chill here, and we're going to take our flyers, and we're going to go do flyer shenanigans with Lucina. So, for those that, of you that are unaware, this is how you get Sigurd to move off his throne. Is you can uh, get flyers to go up. Oh, well, we'll get the goddess icon as well where we're at it. And just generally heal people up cool. and chill. But yeah, you, you lure him up and you do Bonded Shield to drag him off the thing. You don't need Pandreo and Tamara and Grismap? No, that's true, actually. Pandreo wouldn't have been... Well, I mean, Pandreo's always useful. He's always useful, but yeah, it's true. He is less useful than he would have been. I mean, I'm not still a little upset about it. But, you know, it is what it is. Do we even bother, bother bringing Hortensia up? I don't think we need to. I think we just need these three. Oh, but we need to get Lucina engaged back. Uh, can we do that? We can go to that square. That's fine. Right, Ivy, you go for the goddess icon. Got to wait with Seleph on the beach for the life ring. Absolutely. That's what we're going to go do. Oh. <laughs> Here goes. Oh, uh, no. Don't steal my heal XP and don't um, heal Panette too much. Panette's in perfect wrath range for dealing with uh, Sigurd. The, the funny thing about this chapter is Sigurd's actually kind of easy. Like, Sigurd himself no big deal, really. His stats aren't even that high. I wonder if they did that because of the reinforcements. But uh, if we take a look at him, he's really not that scary. I mean, yeah, he's still got like 25 defense, 23 res, 25 strength, but he's, at, he's really not that bad. And he only gets two range afterwards. No, he might not even get two range at all, actually, thinking about it. Anywho. Right. Let's just start doing this. This will take a little bit of time. But now that we've done all that, we can just only move these three. Even below bases, they were good enough. On FE1. Oh, Astra Hamidia. I mean... Ah, I don't know. They're, they're very lackluster. Especially Astrum. I mean, Astrum, considering who he is in the deep lore, it's pretty, pretty crap, honestly. <laughs> My experience with FE1 is relatively limited, though, I will admit. I only played around with it, like, once. The way I see it, Shadow Dragon is the way to go if I want to play Arcanair. I mean, I might come back to it at some point. It would be fun to maybe do it, because FE1's pretty fast, isn't it? 
Doesn't take that long to play through it all. Midia is worse than Jagan. Oh, really? I like Midia, though. She's kind of cute. But yeah, I, d I don't remember her being particularly amazing. Right, let's get Bonded Shield. Very important. Let's get our God as Icon. Now, it's a shame that we're only going to get three turns of Bonded Shield. I hope it's going to be enough to do what, what we want to do here. Okay, so here we go. Goddess Icon! <laughs> we waited on the beat. Yay. Okay. Get our girls ready. Well, girls. Girl and Rosado. Shadow Dragon's a completely different game. Yeah, it's not really comparable. But I just meant like Arcanea in general. I don't really play FE12, so Shadow Dragon's the only one that I particularly interact with. And even then, it's been a while since I played Shadow Dragon. Rosado's <laughs> Kita, so false. What, then Lapis? You've got to be joking. Maybe we do want Hortensia to eat a meteor. That's something I didn't really think about, because we've got to get in position. Uh, which you two can do. One more turn. No, maybe this is actually okay. I'm just double checking before I move people in place, because Rosado will die instantly if I do this wrong. Oh, it's not here, it's there that you won't have to go. Uh... Maybe we have to do it without Ivy. We just do it with Rosado. All right, Rosado sweep, let's see it. I mean, it doesn't really even matter how many of these mages we kill. If we kill mages, it's great, right? If we don't kill any mages, it's fine because we still get Sigurd to move, which is all we're really doing this for. You still need to Hurricane Axe, Mage Knight, Anna, fake fan. I mean, now we have Holdout, it would work, but like, she's t uh, it's too late for Anna, I think. Oh, he doesn't kill. Ah, oh, it'd be nice if he did. I mean, if we can get rid of the Elwind guys, then we can actually probably die for some of these units. I did this completely wrong. Uh, <laughs> um, I think I meant to do this with Hortensia. So Hortensia has the res. Oh no, the other Meteor Mage. I did this completely wrong. I, my brain is gone. I shouldn't have done this chapter. I, I The thing is, I was like, oh, I've only been streaming for two hours, even though I did feel... And Sigurd didn't even move. And now we can't get Sigurd to move because we can't bonded shield to get him to come in. I've done this completely wrong. What you're meant to do is you're meant to get into... Oh, I'm pointing at my screen as if you can see where I'm pointing at my screen. I'm a moron. What you're meant to do is get them into this thing. No. You're meant to get them somewhere where Sigurd sees you and then Sigurd comes out and then... Oh, I've, I've I messed up. More. All right, let me get these out and I'll put Lapis on the thing. I'm a moron. What did I think was going to happen? This isn't Meryn with her uh, Lucina bonus. That's it. You need Lucina bonuses. You need the dodge things from supports. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. It's starting to... <laughs> things are starting to go wrong. I'm a, I'm a complete moron. Both deaths this chapter have been uh, completely unnecessary. Oh, Lapis. I'll I'll move these things around after stream. Oh dear. But now we are I've never seen this strat. It's a good strat when it works. It's a very good strat when it works. It's what I normally do. 
but I think I normally do it with uh, Hortensia and she normally has Lucina bond rank so she has like loads of dodge and if she does get hit by the meteor she uh, she doesn't take much damage like how much would the meteor have done to her 46 yeah it would have done 12 damage to Hortensia Ah, no, this is terrible, because now Sigurd's going to be behind the reinforcements. Oh, this is really bad, actually. Oh, dear. Uh, we're going to have to do this the normal way, and the normal way without a bonded shield user. Ah, dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I mean, it's deserved entirely. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know why I thought that wouldn't happen. I'm just so used to doing that strat, but, and it just working fine I because I have differently command. prepared units for it. Oh dear. Oh, and I've closed chat again by getting Lapis out. Hello. Lapis bros, we must now marry Rosado. Hortensia is like the optimal choice for the IV sweep. I know. I'd, what have I done? Why? Oh, I've completely messed this up. <laughs> well, things are about to get uh, a little bit interesting, let's just say. And by interesting, I mean horrifying. Uh, we'll wait one more time. Speedwing is slow of mind. I am. I am actually. I'm really bad for um, losing my uh, focus and stuff. It's my it's my ADHD. I have a condition. I have a medical condition. It's definitely not heard? just pure copium. <laughs> um. Oh, no one can really reach. We do have dance, though, so that's okay. It would have been nice if uh, Marin could have got in, though. This will do a reasonable amount. He is only a mage, yeah. He always rush override your team solo. Really? Wait, you can override... I thought... I, I remember the first time I did this chapter... He did not override me, or I couldn't get an override range and without facing loads of the reinforcements. Do you think I can bait it ahead? Okay. It was just ever, ever, ever since I did it that one time, I've never wanted to do it that way again because I was so horrified by what happened. We're not going to be able to kill this guy. Uh, we'll panette him. Uh, but we have to dance to panette him. Oh, and we do have by left. Let's definitely get by left going at some point. Oh, this isn't great, actually. I don't really want to eat a meteor. As we saw what happens when I eat a meteor, it just one-shots people. I guess we do this and then dance, maybe? Don't miss. Ooh. He always overrides if you let him. Yeah, if he's in range. He's smart enough to not get himself trapped. If you give him, like, two targets, he'll rush. So it's like Zephyr. Oh, uh, well, I mean, like I said, I've just always done this weird thing of... Well, weird. I've always done the thing where you go and bond up there and pull him off. Because when you do that, what happens is these mages, some of them die. And then Sigurd comes off to try and attack you, but he can't. And then he, like, sits around here. Which means when the bridge drops, he's very close for, like, a long override. But I completely ballsed it up. <laughs> I completely ballsed it up. That's not reliable. Uh, oh dear. And there's not much we can really do about it. I, we just have to take it. This is so scuff. After I... Oh, this is better. Do we have a way to heal her afterwards? Do you have a physic? Oh, we have Hortensia. Okay, good. That's a lot better. 
Although, is it? Actually, no, it's not. With the hit chance, it's not. I'd rather just do this. Okay, let's just do this. I have it. Just don't make a box. The AI oh, she didn't crit. Oh, that's actually pretty bad. Is that above 20%? I think it is. So if we heal her... No. Oh. Oh, this... <sighs> what do we do? Sixteen percent. Oh, the protection tile. <laughs> oh no. Why can't we just engage with Sigurd? Healing is probably fine. Yeah. Oh, I guess we could do this. If the Elf Thunder one hits her first, it's not going to put her low enough advantage. I, I think she should be fine. Like, one of them won't take her below 20%. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. And to be fair, the Meteor guy might go well, for someone else anyway. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Oh, boy. <laughs> Okay, that's not 20%. She's fine. Oh, hold out plus. My absolute beloved. Serves you right. Let's hope Cedal doesn't go the way of Lapis. Absolutely not. Cedal's HP is obscene. He actually knows what a HP stat is. 2,000 gold. At least we got gold from this, if nothing else. Oh, it's so scary. It's just like FP4. There, here's the mounted units. <laughs> Look at this. Now, you can bonded shield this and get, like, a complete truck of XP if you use the right person. But sadly, we do not have the right person. So you're telling me he can override from where? Like... She didn't crit hit either. I know, what a bad unit. I need to not forget that one guy there. Ow. Yeah, get on this. Ha! <laughs> 98%. If she just missed that, I'm not chancing that. I'm sorry. Considering she just missed that. Do it. No balls. I'm not losing Panette. <laughs> If it was anyone else, I'd say yes. Anyone else. From the tree next to the castle? Really? It's not showing up as, look, he can override. Ah, oh, for goodness sake. Because th this is why I like to do my thing, because my thing pulls him there, and then he will see an override from here. I'm not sure he can reach turn one. Oh, okay. Well, as long as he actually moves. If he actually moves, we're fine. If he doesn't move, we are so screwed. If he doesn't move, it is Jover. Unless we do like a group warp, which we have one more turn to attempt. Let's get her some XP above 20%. XP, health. By left dance would be awesome if we could get it back. Uh... Oh boy, let's just pray that we can pull him. Um, may as well get Karin back. Okay, good. Okay, this is actually okay, because the Meteor Mages are still far enough away. Now look at his attack range. Well, now he should because th this is where that's where he moves to when you do my weird funky strategy. My 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 strategy that <laughs> involves using Hortensia, and for some reason I just didn't use Hortensia. So this will be good, right? He'll do this. He'll take this because it's two people. <laughs> 
So the whole point of your strategy is to get a turn off the map. It's good! It's good, because you also get a bunch of free XP on the mages. It normally works an absolute treat. Uh, <laughs> just maybe not so much when I'm uh, in complete throw mode. Wait, he has no Rider's Bane? She lives a Rider's Bane. What do you stake your life? Tell but yeah, me, true. Maybe I shouldn't have used Girl Mary. See, this is what I mean. I'm in fro ends. mode. I wish for a peaceful world. For myself, my Yeah, a peaceful world, world where you don't kill Gold Mary? Now I'm nervous about that. To... Also, why should I I should never use a Leer to pull yeah. anyone at this stage of the game, realistically. Yeah, see, she's fine. She's a giga chat tank. Baiting with Valyria is a bro moment. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> it really is. Uh, that's when he swaps to his secret dragon effective weapon and just one shots her. You know, which is the sort of thing that the bosses in this game do, you know. <laughs> okay, let's just... Let's end this suffering. Oh, Panette can't reach. Wonderful. She can reach with this. Quickly now! <laughs> Torrential rain, yes, 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 yes. My path is certain. I shouldn't have done this chapter at all. I should have just called an early stream, two two hour stream. Oh dear, yes, of course. Not even remembering to debuff people. Oh, Linden, maybe? Boss XP for Linden? You're done, Core. Right. Depending on how much speed Linden has you in Mage Knight, we could actually do some uh, bonded shield shenanigans to train him up. Speed, res, build. Oh, he actually has pretty good speed. And Mage Knight, he'll have more, I think. He gets one more, maybe? I think he has a little more. Meanwhile, that does nothing. If you fail this run, you should give if reverse I recruitment engage a try. If I fail this run, I'm not doing engage immediately again. Uh, as much as I would like to do like modded engage, which I will probably at some point, I won't do engage again. I'll do fates maybe or fe6 or something. I gotta give all the engage haters something, you know. <laughs> uh, the, the engage haters, I'll give them fates instead. <laughs> I'll give them rev instead. That that'll that'll sort them out. Fe6, yeah, I could do Fe6. I oh HP, strength, deck, speed, defense, luck. I haven't done much GBA in a while. I, I'd like to do Fe6. Fe6 is a strong contender. I also am kind of interested in doing a Fates Iron Man where we were talking about this the other day. A Fates Iron Man where the characters are dead in each of the games. So you do all three of them. So you do like Birthright, Conquest, then Rev. But if like a unit in Birthright dies, you can't use them in Rev. The ultimate Rev challenge. But yeah, Hard Man mode Iron Man Fe6. It's standard, isn't it? I don't know how interesting it is for people because it's been done to death, but I've never done it. <laughs> not, not on the channel, anyway. Alright, let's just end. I'm not going to get much XP out of these guys. Oh, I guess Ivy can get a kill. Actually, maybe even Haunt. I should get damage. No, she cannot. Not doing that. No crit. Would you ever do Fe5 in the future? Frasier 776 is very rare to see from YouTubers. I like Frasier. I could do Frasier. The thing with Frasier is it's not very good for Iron Manning. So it would just be like a here's me playing Frasier. But, uh... I mean, you can, you can Iron Man Frasier, I suppose. But yeah, I wouldn't be adverse to doing Frasier. I don't really make Frasier memes or anything. Uh, what question mark? Here we go. Echo that the Frasier great for Iron Manning? I don't think so. Really? Oh, when I tried it, it went horribly. Oh, okay. Well, if you say so. Well, maybe I could do that then. Perhaps. I don't know. I'll toy with it. I definitely... I want to do something other than engage. 
I know. Yeah, you get plenty of units, but like, <laughs> not all units are made equal well in Frasier. You have passed the trial with a stunning display. I didn't do it alone. Speedy Hawk did a Frasier Iron all Man a year ago. Oh, really? Correct. Yeah, he Correct. he does a lot of runs like that, doesn't he? My first try also ended terribly, but it was basically blind. Second try, I beat it. Oh, okay. Well, I, I did a try knowing the ins and outs. Well, knowing. Aware of the ins and outs of Frasier, and I failed absolutely miserably. <laughs> like, there's one of my worst Iron Man attempts ever. <laughs> yeah, that'll definitely happen, Oof. Uh, for sure. Absolutely. Wait, maybe, maybe just, like, open... Maybe now... Maybe now it will happen if I do this. <laughs> um, failing the first attempt is like a rite of passage. I mean, I guess. I guess if you actually like think about what you're doing, it probably wouldn't be too bad. I'll, I'll add it to the list of potentials. I'm veering into FE6 or Fates, though, but I will consider it. Yeah, I haven't played Fraser in ages. I do enjoy it. So I'll talk a bit. No, you do not need to sing the song, oof. <laughs> okay, right, I'm gonna probably call the stream now, I think. I definitely think. I'm throwing like mad. I'm not thinking straight. We lost Tamara and Lapis, both of them, for literally no reason. Yeah. Well, we beat the port chapter, and we got two paralogs done, but at what cost, Pandreo, my beloved, gone. So yeah, fun stream, back in the pool for me, yeah, enjoy, I'm very jealous. Very, very jealous. But yeah, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Yeah, at least they're both back, true, like, well, Lapis is good, but this Lapis isn't good. This Lapis was really cursed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a look at what her stats were before she died, and put her into the bot and see how cursed she was because I feel like she was very cursed because she wasn't even doubling things which is Lapis's whole shtick but anyway thank you so much guys thanks for watching I'll catch you next time I at the moment I'm free next weekend but I can't promise <laughs> so I'll, I'll see you later bye 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 bye